the man is so unjust children yeah don't know who to trust your worst enemy could be your best friend and your best friend
Yeah. 
Good morning, good morning to you. It is indeed the morning after. We wish you a good morning. This is your host, Percival Palmer, coming to you live from the studios of Best 100 FM. We give God thanks that we have woken up to see another day. We thank you for allowing us to join you as you journey to work in your private car, in public transportation, or you're just waking up at home. We thank you for allowing us the privilege of being with you for the next four hours. This is your host, Percival Palmer. When we come back, we look at the day after. Is this indeed a new beginning, or is it the same as per usual, as you were? Best 100 FM brings you youth resilience and empowerment with Royton McLaren each and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. A program that can enhance the family, stabilize in youth's behavior and be empowering. So tune in to Best 100 FM each and every Tuesday night where negative behaviors and attitude can be changed. Vijan Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vijan Printers, your best choice in printing. Apple tree, apple tree, one and dry, apple tree. Bossy, how we, how we do a tech taxi start? Jano, I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and me check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time I shop around and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose a problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me, man. You yeah, hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me, send you. You are your big star. Yeah, man, respect my boss. Now try and call you, because know, trust me. Waiters, auto spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> Make me your yeah. radio. <laughs> Turn me up when you feel low. Turn it up a little bit. was meant for you. Right Sing there. along to my stereo. Hey, you my listening crew. This is your late afternoon companion, Tashikalu, on your 100 FM dial. Make sure you tune in and turn up every Tuesdays from 5 until 7 p.m. For all D-A-W-T-L, that is on the ear to be yours truly. A program that will leave you inspired, entertained, and informed. For the credit giveaways each week. Sri Link, where we go in the streets to find out from the people what is hot and what is not, and so much more. And guess what? You can now voice your birthday shout-outs on our WhatsApp line at 876-438-9442, and we'll play them live on air. So what are you waiting for? Turn up Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. right here on Best 100 FM, the station that is sizzling every day.
For all your Honda Ridgeline parts in Kingston, call 326-7371 or 821-5232 now. We sell genuine shocks, power steering pumps, engine mount, fender liner, strut mount, front end parts, engine parts, electrical switches and sensors, and many, many more. Remember, we are your Honda Ridgeline parts dealer located in Kingston. Contact us now at 326-7371 or 821-5232 for more details. water tank from <laughs> multi plastics tanks a lot <laughs> oh yeah i heard they're selling cutting edge water tanks let me find my way to 37 south road or call them at 876-968-6657 now do you need reliable health care we have it yes we do great george street pharmacy shop number 897 great george street savannah lamar west Willand. opening hours mondays to saturdays 8 30 a.m to 6 p.m call us at 876-603-7372 or whatsapp us at 876-205-0499 yes we have reliable health care for you at great george street pharmacy savannah lamar What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 m It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good, good morning. Welcome back to The Morning Connection. And you will be able, well, joining me live in the studio, not from far away, not from cold, cold Portland, but right here at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, joining me in the studio this morning is Pastor Mike. How are you, my friend? I'm very well this morning once again, thanking God for that, my brother. And you noticed how I'm dressed coming from the Winter Wonderland. <laughs> winter this is the clothes we wear in Portland. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> But it's good. It's good to to see you. Um, yes, good to be here too on such a morning. Such a morning after such a night. <laughs> such a morning after such a night. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, well, yesterday we we focus on Isaiah forty three verses sixteen um, to twenty one, and I want to go back there because I think um, that what we were raising, we were saying whether the PMP won or the JLP won or whatever, it was, to my own mind, a chance for um, new beginnings, um, um, new beginnings in terms of what God is doing and saying. Um, yesterday, I had discussion with somebody, and I was just saying to them that Whatever happens, in my own mind, God's standards of how we govern and how we are governed by persons must use as their standard God's word in terms of how kingdoms are nations, which is foundations of righteousness, right living, foundations of justice. Um, truth and mercy and that comes out of Psalm 89 14 and even when I um, begun this program and it's it's almost it's two years have gone fully um, we're into our third year that um, we must use in terms of how we do business between ourselves in terms of how um, governments do business with us his standards of just doing things rightly in a righteous way uh -huh. 
his standards of being just, um, in the his standards of truth and mercy. Um, because justice demands that you be rewarded for what you have done. But mercy indicates that people can get a reprieve. So true. Yes. And so everybody is claiming victory. But I do think that um, it, it calls us as individuals to take a check and call us as a nation to take stock of what's been happening and to say if God were to come down now and walk through would he be pleased in terms of what we see happening in terms of the relations one to one Bob says man to man is so unjust um, relations in terms of how the persons who have delegated authority are dealing with individuals in the society is he would not be pleased you not be pleased. And that's why the theme of a new beginning, of going back to um, first base in terms of how we <clears throat> deal with things, I think is continues to be appropriate. And then yesterday we spoke about accountability. How do we account for um, resources that have been given mm. to us? And how do we account one for each other in terms of our actions? And also, I don't know what you're thinking, but... I just read it again for um, the the public who were not on top yesterday in terms of when we went to Psalms um, 43. Um, let me just pull it up quickly here. Yeah, well, quick while you're looking it up for our readers to be reminded, I must agree with you. Uh, you know, whoever in the final analysis of this local government election or the upcoming general election... Mm -hmm. Whoever wins, mm -hmm. time come for an updated set of values and the way in the way we run Jamaica and relate to each other. Mm -hmm. It's time we start building each other based on a new set of core values. I don't know about you and a family, but I am tired of the dishonesty. I'm tired of the unwarranted aggression. I'm tired of the corruption, the stealing for... Some of it is understandable because you have to run elections and give it money. No, um, no, no. I'm not excusing it. Don't <laughs> get it twisted. But at least it's not only for individual personal gain. There's a wider uh, um, outlook. But at the same time, it's still corruption. It ought not to be done because the public purse should not be raped to keep state power or to um, gain state power. Mm -hmm. So those issues that have become so commonplace in Jamaica that when it happens, nobody is held accountable for it. Nobody faces, uh, the, faces justice. And we, mm -hmm. the ordinary people, are actually okay with it because we're not protesting about it. Uh, of course, with the exception of you and Lady Minette uh, carrying the standard on this program. But it's time for a new set of core values, man. I mean, I, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. It's not the Portland breeze why I'm tired of the thing, brother. But the constant living at the lowest common denominator at home, in community, in our nation. And we are reaping, of course, the consequences of that. We, we set these lofty goals of prosperity and progress and we cannot get there because we're using the wrong set of core values mm -hmm. and it's time for a change time to really start building with a new set of core values yeah. so you're looking for yeah, I found it. that I verse found it. yeah it, it says um so 16 gives a background um Thus says the Lord who makes a way through the sea and I'll part through the mighty waters who brings forth. You're reading from Isaiah chapter 43. Right, verse 16. The chapter right after my favorite chapter. 42? Yes, man, that's my favorite That's chapter. your favorite chapter. And yeah, I know man. why you... 10 and 12, man. 10 and 12, yes, that let, let you give him the praise. Islands of the sea. We'll so. sing a new song. Right, so um, they lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished. They are quenched like a lamb wick. Do not... Remember the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing now. It springs forth. Do you not perceive and know it? And will you not give heed to it? 
I'll even make a way in the wilderness mm -hmm. and rivers in the <coughs> desert, the beasts of the field honor me, and so on. But verse 19, behold, um, let, let me go to the NLT, because some of the time, that was amplified, but the NLT now, um, New Living Translation says, um, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I'll make a pathway through the wilderness. I'll create rivers in the dry ways. Man. So that, to me, is important. And then, in terms of people um, seeking to personalize it, um, we continue to say that your present circumstances and your misfortune or wherever you are at in a dry place is not a place that God cannot and will not intervene on your behalf as long as you line up in with his principles. And I keep saying that to people. You align yourself with the God of the universe who has all infinite power, all infinite knowledge, uh -huh. um, and he's able to in this same Isaiah says to cause for um, a nation to be born in a day because there is a cry by all for new things, new parts um, mm -hmm. in terms of shifting. And, and, and I say that, you know, um, yesterday I was sharing with you where to win. I think in the DNA of our country, there is the mentality, the DNA that caused us to win. Mm -hmm. And I was just reflecting, um, I was saying it yesterday also to somebody, we we're having conversation, our founding fathers in terms of this national anthem that we have, our founding fathers in terms of the national, that Jamaica may under God increase in beauty, fellowship. Fellowship, mm -hmm. man to man, prosperity, mm -hmm. and take our part in Advance in the welfare that of the whole human nice. race, mm. and and we must remember this: that the f the in with something, it is always in the beginning. The, 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 when something is happening, you have to go back to the beginning of something to see what was envisioned. And if we go back to the beginning of beginning, God indicated to us as humankind that we were to replenish, reflourish. Replenish, <laughs> flourish, <laughs> mm -hmm. dominate in relationship to him. And we can't get away from that. We can't get away from that. That's how we set up. He's wired us to win from the very beginning when he created us so and true. gave it to us and says, but you do this in relationship with me, the infinite source, the source of all things. So, so true. Um, we can, uh, I think after the break, um, Look some more in terms of what happened. Um, the, 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 some people, I think, have come out winners in this. Because um, uh, in terms of what has happened in this election, um, some people have lost. And some people have to take stock. And Okay, so the... This referendum, <laughs> as people call it, is out of the way. But, but I'm going to disagree with you there, no, uh, there, in the sense that once you have a contest, mm. win or lose, mm -hmm. or draw, mm -hmm. you have to take stock. When I was a football coach and a coach of coaches, mm -hmm. I used to instruct whether or not you win or lose, brother, take stock. The problem, of course, is generally when teams win, Mm -hmm. or persons win, they don't take stock. There's no evaluation because they have won. And the euphoria uh, and the excitement makes them not sit down and take stock. Become because it is possible, you know, mm -hmm. to actually win, mm -hmm. but have lost, really, in terms of your the strategy that you chose, in terms of how your players engage, and even though you come out on paper mm -hmm. as winning, mm -hmm. you really lost 
uh, because you didn't achieve the objectives that you set. Well, quite often, human beings, although designed to think like that, they generally don't, especially when a win takes place. So to all those who participated in the election, you know, in case any uh, um, candidate is up early listening to uh the awesome. program here take stock evaluate uh step back for a moment and look before you come again mm -hmm. you know but um I, I i'd love to hear your dissection of last night and your evaluation my, my of dissection, course i was fast asleep right. oh you're fast asleep oh no. and i was up <laughs> driving <laughs> through communities and, seeing and what? yes <laughs> yes and some persons i knew very well who usually mm -hmm. When things are going their way, nobody you can't hold them. Mm -hmm. But I had to go to Warhampton tonight. In fact, long before the pundits came out. Now we know the dust hasn't settled yet, and it's still up in the air as to what the real thing is. But um, whether or not uh, you, or or I should say, however it's evaluated, it's it's evident that the PNP has done a lot better. Under the leadership of Mark Golden, than the previous time they faced the polls, so that is something to look at. And then, of course, if I was an advisor to the PM, we would be sitting down to figure out what in the world went wrong because yeah, all it is the money. Yes, man, you have. It's. It, I was saying to you off the air yesterday that if you mm -hmm. were the coach of a Premier League team. Mm -hmm. Playing a primary school team. I expect to, to and have them 12 draw. I am not encouraging you to be excited because we're talking about a massive difference uh, in ability and size and resources. And I don't want to call, the, I'm not calling the PNP a primary school team, you know, brother. No, I don't think But we it. are, but let's, the reality is. They have spent the last few years before Mark Golden took the reins of leadership sniping at each other and tearing each other down and behaving like a former set of persons who constantly used to just destroy each other. And I don't understand, you know, as they talk about following the word of God, I mean, the word of God guides you in some simple things. For example, let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, except the kind of word that gives unmerited favor to the hearer. In other words, when Michael speaks to Percy, Percy must walk away feeling good about himself. No matter the situation, you know, the conflict or the agreement. But yet we don't follow little things like that. So no, but it, but it, teams and organizations all over, we're talking about public and private sector. Teams, you know, which are supposed to work together, will snipe each other and wonder at the end of the day. What went wrong? Is why we're not performing good? Right, what is right. happening? Simple matters like that had set back the PNP because of this this pull for po this fight for power. Well, we, we spoke uh, about uh, it last week. That so fight in for that power regard, and resources. It, them put them place as a, them, they, they put themselves in the in in a spot as a little boy team, a, pri a short pants wearing team. Because if you get to the 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 um top of the leadership stream and you simply can't understand simple leadership values that have been promulgated now for decades as to what makes organizations and teams work for example any listener listening whether you're a family any leader mm -hmm. who is a listener mm -hmm. whether a family leader mm -hmm. like yourself head of a family or a team leader, mm -hmm. like a coach or captain on a sports team, or a community leader, mm -hmm. anybody who doesn't understand by now that the single greatest influence on culture and transforming it is the behavior of leaders. Yeah, but, but if Pastor Percy don't understand that, as it pertains to the culture of fellowship tabernacle, then it, you're going to have problems. We, we sit down with private sector um, organizations helping them to understand teaming and how to work together. And then when you look across public sector, you see a leader doing some things where you go, brother, what do you expect? Yeah, but if you achieve so much, what do you expect the man behind you for to go, for go do? To stop. You know? to, 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 oh, you to, expect him to stop while... To oh. stop stealing. Most yes, man. Stealing okay. Because so of his personal conviction, which is what... Which is oh. what drives you, but but I'm I'm in agreement with what you have indicated that 
leadership sets the tone for everything. A leadership sets the tone for everything. And and remember last week when we began in in um in Exodus and and Moses um, was instructed by Jethro, you must look for men and women now who fear God, who are honest, <laughs> and don't take bribe. Don't take bribe. Don't don't is not um at the <laughs> it's not at the be, be, behest of somebody with who the most money. We now in a in a situation and I think that is probably as we do for an analysis of what is happening. The Jamaican people I would want to believe are saying to everybody, stop thief <laughs> and in stop thief. On both sides, do not you see the public purse as a feeding trough. Um, and that is why the whole thing of corruption, once upon a time when they did pose, it wasn't there. Yeah. But now it is like second or third in terms of some of the things why people have turned away from politics. And my position is, um, and I believe that with the truth that we have and this truth whether we like it or not whatever people have said has transformed and changed um, western civilization and even before that african civilization with mm. when i think of ethiopia and, and those places and even in terms of the principles that somehow god has put in our hearts as to how we relate and speak to each other become so so very important your conscience indicate to you what is right or wrong now whether you like it or not you know but mm. over time if it is speaking and you discount it and don't believe it it becomes seared so it becomes dead it don't it, no response but the, the more and more even the secular persons the 80s have recognized that boy there's something inside of us that indicate to us that that is wrong and that is right. Yeah. And it is not very much dependent on the circumstances and who we are. It's just right and wrong. And I think it, it, in Ecclesiastics, um, Solomon says, God has put eternity in the heart of man, yeah. of man and woman. And that, I think, is so, so very important. As we, we, we are coming up to our first break of the morning, actually, it's now 7 o'clock. This is um, Percival Palmer, your host. Um, join with Pastor Michael Aiken and we'll take you through the rest of today. But um, when we come back, we will now dig deeper into what we believe has happened in local government election and the lessons learned, learned yes. to be learned on either side of the fence. Well, um, I'm sitting in a minute seat right now, so I want to give a shout out to, to my beautiful and favorite sister, Minutes. And uh, my preference of hosts in a uh, house. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not saying I don't like it. Or I know I'm handsome, you yes. know, man. You don't have to tell me that I'm not pretty. So, when it's two o'clock, let me come back. From. Lady Minette, okay. wherever you are, you know, may God bless you immensely this morning and for the rest of the day, the week, the month, the year. Okay. Boy, miss you like cook food. All right. Mm. Best 100 FM, broadcasting live in all 14 parishes. Hanover 100.5, 100.9. St. James 100.9. Trelawney 100.3, 100.9. St. Anne 100.3, 100.5. St. Mary 100.5. West Milan 100.1, 100.5. St. Elizabeth, 100.1, 100.5. Manchester, 100.1, 100.5. Clarendon, 100.1, 100.5, 100.9. St. Catherine, 100.5, 100.9. St. Andrew, 100.5, 100.9. St. Thomas, 100.5 and 100.9. Best FM, giving you the better vibe.
Sirius FM 100 on your dial. Keep listening. It's Vaughn. And Charnel. And we're here with what you need to know this week. Wait. With a Y. You have to talk to me different from now on, you know, Charnel, because you are looking at one of yesterday's successfully elected individuals. Really, no? Mm-hmm. Me never know say you was a candidate in the <laughs> local government elections. Well, on, well, on. Me never said the whole of that. Please don't mix me. <laughs> but, right? So, yeah. which election you participate in or wait? Well, since you are so nicely, and I definitely want the world to know this information, we're looking at the most recently voted best host of a radio show that comes on on Tuesdays that's called What You Need to Know. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, but big up to the Victoria's Council that's coming out of the local government elections. And of course, welcome to the winner's circle. Winner's over here, you know what I'm saying? You know what? I deserved that. Me should have learned and know by now so you always have some foolish up your sleeve. But anyway, you did say one thing right. Congratulations to the persons who won their divisions and better luck next time to the persons who weren't so victorious. Now, the work really begins to deliver on behalf of the persons living in the divisions you represent. Yeah, definitely. That's true. And now uh, to the persons who didn't win, I will be conducting some classes on being a winner. Yeah. Um, just like me and hopefully your circumstances will change next time around. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, Charnel, what else is in the news that we want to share with the listeners today? Moving right along and paying no attention to that last sentence whatsoever, oh, boy, oh, boy. we officially have three international airports in Jamaica now, people. Mm-hmm. Yes, the Ian Fleming Airport in St. Mary last week welcomed its first commercial passenger flight, putting it right up there beside Norman Manley Airport in Kingston and Sangster International in Montego Bay. Yes, I heard about that one. People, it was a flight from American Airlines, which originated in Miami, Florida. American Airlines will operate the service twice per week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I don't have to tell you the positive impact this is going to have on that part of the island mm-hmm. over the long term. Like Transport Minister Daryl Vaz was saying, it's going to attract more hotel groups, tour operators, Airbnbs, restaurants, supermarkets, the whole works. And yeah, people, just know that you have regular flights coming into the area with dedicated numbers of tourists coming in each week. That should be all the incentive business interests need to start creating amenities to cater to them, which means businesses, jobs, and economic growth, of course, which is a win, 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 win. You, know yeah. you forgot another win, but it's okay. I'll add it for you. Winner. Okay, all right. No problem. I'll take it. All right, people, now bear with us for a little as things take a bit of a samba note, all right? We have to join with the music and entertainment fraternity in extending condolences to the family and loved ones of Peter Morgan from one of Jamaica's first families of reggae, Morgan Heritage. His family announced his passing on Sunday. Morgan Heritage is known for some of the genre's classics, and they have really made a sterling contribution to the global spread of the music, and so it's a major loss. Mm -hmm. In the same vein, people, we have to join the sports media and track and field fraternity in mourning the loss of noted sports journalist and track and field analyst Hubert Lawrence. So for those of us who are glued to the TV during champs or world champs or even the Olympics, Lawrence's insight into track and field and his almost encyclopedic knowledge of the participants and their events was always welcome. We lost a good one with his passing and of course condolences to his family and his loved ones. So it is a bit of a somber weekend we had but you know what? By remembering them and honoring their legacy, we are able to move on with confidence. Mm -hmm. No, I may regret asking this question, but let me proceed. Mm -hmm. Vaughn, is there anything else you would like to share with our listeners before we sign off today? Well, I mean, of course, since you ask, let me see now. Um, You know, there are two things. First, there's the fact that men are being encouraged to take advantage of the National Health Fund subsidy for one prostate-specific antigen test per year. This is in response to news that an alarming number of men are being diagnosed with enlarged prostates or prostate cancer each year. Wow, that is so mature of you. I like that one. What's the next one? Well, then there's the small matter of the reggae grammy. I need people to vote for me for okay. next week. Okay, okay, okay. That is it for Wing Today, guys. Got comments? Send an email to radio at gis.gov.jm. Connect with us on X at GIS News. Anyway, people, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at J.I.'s Voice and interact with us on Facebook at Jamaica Information Service. Till next time, I'm Vaughn. And I'm Charnel, reminding you that knowledge, knowledge is power, so stay in the know. know. A production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Mm-hmm. 
Grandpa, where are you going? But see ya. I have business down by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. Just call 888 225 5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they just give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for you, young people. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged, hope is in the Lord. Best 100 FM brings you youth resilience and empowerment with Royton McLaren each and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. A program that can enhance the family, stabilize in youth behavior and be empowering. So tune in to Best 100 FM each and every Tuesday night where negative behaviors and attitude can be changed. changed. Vetran Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vetran Printers, your best choice in printing. Apple tree, apple tree, one and dry, apple tree. Bossy, how are you doing a tech taxi start? I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time on shop and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience, and them diagnose your problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service, excellent and efficient. Trust me, man. Yeah, hear me? Call them at 929-7040. Or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me, senor. You are your big star. Yeah, man, respect my boss. I try and call him, because trust me. Winter of Auto Spares and Repairs, good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> no, the water's gone again. Yo, Div, where did you get your water tank from? <laughs> Multi-plastics tanks a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard they're selling cutting-edge water tanks. Let me find my way to 37 South Road or call them at 876-968-6657 now. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, welcome back. Um, through the course of our time, we're just going to dedicate a song to Peter Morgan, the former lead singer of Morgan Heritage. But, Mike, as, as we, we come back um, to what has happened. So, claiming victory, well, the unofficial thing is right now, <coughs> the JLP has won seven, they've retained their seven that they had before, and four PMP, and two are tied. Um, 
Clarendon and mm. uh, Kingston and St. Andrew um, Municipal Council is started 2020. And in those things, what happens is, is is that if you win the popular vote, then you get the mayorship. Okay. So that is possible. But based on the face of it, in terms of what has happened, um, the 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 JLP won more divisions. Divisions. But the PMP is well, heading popular vote, no? So? Yeah, they've mm. won the popular vote. And I'm I was looking at something. Um, and uh, some more why was cafe not allowed to be there when they were counting because that has been the normal thing that went up you know oh yeah that early out uh, bastan says the, the people said they're not supposed to be there why would that happen that's not is that a new thing well somebody from <laughs> electoral I can't answer that question as it pertains to what happened, why someone made a decision like that. Because they've always so, been there, yeah. the counting, the uh, for free and fair. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and, I, and I raised that question, is there, is that a new thing? Is something chicanery happening? Well, well, I'm, I don't know if, again, just to put on that hat for a moment because as you know I step into representative politics for a little while and not only that you know had the privilege to rub shoulders with some of the movers and shakers in his ears and the deceit is just too much dishonesty too much the uh, uh, disappearing boxes and appearing boxes uh, how does that happen in a Christian democracy you know um, electoral officers who are willing to uh, count security and election day workers' votes Before. without the indoor agent present that's supposed to be there. How does that happen in a Christian democracy and especially in circumstances where persons who call the name of Christ, mm. like you and me, or said Jarastafari, like some of your listeners, mm -hmm. are given authority mm -hmm. and fail in the way they're supposed to righteously use the authority. Because as I told you in one circumstance where I was asked to intervene, where electoral officers allowed the count of votes to take place without... The other person present. And I said, how oh, you could have do this? You know, you know, oh my God, who then could have really give? Yeah, for you sell out your God and your country, sir. Yeah, where they could have give? My man. Seriously, Pastor P. Man? Yeah, because, no, man. Because, because, you know, you know, uh, because uh, for a lot of us, talk. right and wrong is not absolute. It is based on context. And you know, it's your fault, lad. Yeah. And my fault. Yeah. That's we part have part. spent decades and centuries. Mm -hmm. now, let me say this carefully because I don't want any listener to get it twisted. We have spent so long mm -hmm. as people of God, mm -hmm. frightening God's created human beings into staying away from certain things that we call sin to the point where we put people out of church and disgrace them. Because, for example, a female gets pregnant before marriage. We slay her and make it such a disgraceful thing. That she stays away from that. But that same female mm -hmm. can help T for election and not, not come out of that. Mm -hmm. Because that is not sin. As That's far it. as we are concerned. What we are, is that? Well, uh, for me, it's in, 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 a, in, a <clears throat> in a completely just and fair society. If I had the last word, I would have pity on the pregnant female and no pity on the person, on the person who will to be dishonest in something because I am I've become very aware mm -hmm. that there are sins that are more difficult to handle because it's part of your design okay when somebody falls into sexual impropriety that that, uh, that can involve hormones and a number of things that are part of the design of humanity that Bridget. it's hard to handle but tell me what what part of you is designed to be dishonest and malicious and wicked? Yeah. You have any hormone related to that? 
you have any kind of um well maybe, i don't know maybe some would argue you, you you feel good but about so there's those, a dopamine kind no, of but, effect but, but all of those but things no, man. Are, Mike, but as you said that all of those things are related to decisions that people make oh, decision boy. to um commit those sins or decision to steal is a mm. decision you made yes and a so choice indeed it's a choice so a choice. and that is something that father god has not taken away from us so i tell people that um it is so important that we understand mm. as humans that choice in the situation you make choice um one of my favorite agree, um gentlemen who who do who reminds me of choices you make and be willing to to deal with the consequences is my three hebrew young men um mm. who had to make a choice as to what is important jesus says you make a choice that's shadrach meshach and a bad negro you're talking yeah man oh. Oh, bad negro um <laughs> a bendigo oh Most sorry my say, mispronunciation my brother yeah but it but it is it is important and so it is um you can't serve god and mammon and that is something a choice that you make so those of us who would say to us oh we are very much christian people um the question who do you worship ultimately because you have to when you're hungry pastor p how do you how do we help somebody who, who <coughs> who's hungry. offered money to do something dishonest and wrong when and sometimes it's not even personal hunger you know it's when your family and things yeah man and your family your your children your wife <clears throat> it's it's sometimes it's easy to sit and of course do the pontification yes the, the pontification that but boy, because I, I know some good people who have sold out politically, and I'm not talking about to any party color, but to sold out them profession. We have a lot of people like that in Jamaica. <laughs> but if you, if, if, all right. So, so let us look at um, something really. Um, the corruption that we see. Mm. Who is the chief? financial officer in any ministry. What do you mean? Who's the chief accounting officer then in any ministry? Not the permanent secretary. Oh, 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 in a, oh as in ministry, public service ministry. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if you go and did a survey of the people who are permanent secretaries, all of them will tell you, um, I have, I fear God, I'm a godly person. Yes, most of them I know. So of. then how most of the corruption happens in our country if they don't sign. Because I know of persons who are qualified to become permanent secretaries in some ministries. People I know personal and they were passed over. Qualified at the years, mm -hmm. go through the training, but they come and say, me, yeah, minister, I say, no, man. Yeah, yeah, put a person there, so. Because they're going to stop the flow, which is a reality yeah, yeah. that we face, mm -hmm. which is why the whole it's a concept, systemic problem. Yeah, yeah. The, of a new <coughs> beginnings and people beginning to, to hold ourselves first accountable for our actions and hold the people accountable and changing values become a very, very, very important thing. As the Rasta man would say, fire bond on them things. Eh? All right, but explain to me what you mean when you say hold them accountable. How do you hold someone accountable who... Call them out. Yeah. You know oh, you call okay. them out. No, call them out. The thing is, yes. You call them out. You call them mm -hmm. out. Um... And and even as we call out people, this election is is behind. Prime Minister, mm. what happened to your integrity commission filings for 2021 and 2022? Because 2023 is upon us now. You call him out. Um, right. Somebody wrote a letter and says, "Oh, is it the church not strong or not?" We, but if Marky G or whatever his name is, as that's the test that we have set. Then the question, the Prime Minister, you are the leader of the nation. Mm. Not the, the Governor General. That is a, Can I a, give a, you some advice? Yeah. Right. I think uh, you're, cur you're on the correct, correct pathway, you know. Yes. yes Calling them out could be one, but let me warn you. Mm -hmm. Go check with the tax office first mm -hmm. and make sure your property tax is paid up. Oh, pay it up, man. I, and I, if I, you have any loan with NCB, make sure it's uh, <laughs> do I loan with in NCB? good start. Because once you step toward... Mm -hmm. The 
leadership like that and speak truth to power, mm-hmm. they have other ways of getting back at I you. Mean, and then, that. of course, yeah. go to Fellowship Tabernacle and let us know that you plan to do that so we can put up prayer team around you and a police team police because team. No, once the angels you do heaven, that not, not the angels of heaven yeah. i am one who believes in that verse yes strongly. man i agree with you so so do, the word of god says no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up to speak amen i destroy right. i shut it up shut all right so, okay. so what good no, but no but what i'm saying is that and and i have over this time is some things you know about i talk about Mm. So them say good for not everything good for talk, but I'm just simply saying, all right, that's behind us, but we have gone back to Parliament. Parliament here has opened. Mm-hmm. Um, we have this throne speech, and you find significant that in the throne speech there's no legislation that is coming that says we are going to strengthen Integrity Commission. There's no thing that says because that would stop the flow. Well, but but you don't we, expect our political leaders to do things that will uh, uh, prohibit or at least inhibit them from continuing with some of the practices see, that if we had them in here, they would tell you they know it's wrong. But it's the only way the system will accommodate what they need to do. So what is it that they need to do, man? Win elections is the first thing. So maintain, gain and maintain state power. Anybody who steps into politics and doesn't have that as a primary goal will not be a consistent winner. Okay? So if you're thinking about it, I mean, if I was, if I was your uh, um, communication director because you decide you're going to go into politics or your um, campaign manager, yeah, Pastor Percy, the, the pastoral aspect of him, would have to take on a, a, a harder approach to, to gain and maintain state power. Now, I know you wouldn't do anything illegal, but at least in terms of thought process. Speak half truth. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> the <laughs> thing is. Said that to me, you know, you know <laughs> when the person word? said I saw yeah. a lady when I went. She said, no, a half truth is worse than a lie. You're worse for real, man. I agree with that lady, whoever she is. No, I met her when I was having lunch and we're talking. She said, a half truth is worse than a lie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And do you know that there are different colors of lie now? Well, I don't know about that, but. Um, you have a white lie, you have a no. black lie, <laughs> you have a pink lie, and a blue lie. It's a, it's a <laughs> bridge in a year to now went to, really? and I was at a certain place, and a pastor came and says, <laughs> Well, he was recently introduced that there is a white lie. And there's a black light. Black light is the worst one. A white light as, is the usual. One. <laughs> as usual. As usual. And they have the pink and the blue light. You know, I said, okay. No, all well, right. I don't subscribe to that kind of philosophy, but no, but no, but you, know. you, but you, but you, we have, we are talking about it in, in a jokingly, but that's the reality. That that is something in terms of accountability, accountability, and that's what people are saying. Is there anything else we can do? Call them out is one thing to to keep we, to keep we, our leaders accountable. Constantly put pressure on them by speaking truth to power and making it as public as possible. And I and I only use uh, but as my truth. What thing. else? What else somebody could do? You, you in your own way seek the same thing that you call in a leader out to do. You must practice it. Oh, there you go. Wow. Because wow. if you do that then you know what happens over time. It becomes like a virus. And a virus spread quickly. You, know? you ever mm. see a virus in a system? You ever remember the matrix? A virus in the system. Mm. I just drive everything. Yeah, so real. if we practice um, righteousness and, and justice as way of life and speaking truth, then what happens, you are changing what is happening in the body. You, you're shifting it around. And so now more and more people speak truth. Yeah. Um, to to power and, and I know of persons because they speak truth in a lot of government departments they're not being dishonest or anything you know um, they're not being rude or mm. disrespectful they just said based on the facts of what is here no that is not true that is a lie and last week we spoke about mind games, misinformation mm-hmm. versus dif- disinformation. And you have said that when somebody said something, the first thing you do is, is a three-part thing you do. Mm-hmm. You, dis- you, 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 dis- you disown, you say, then you try to discredit. Oh, the it. deflect and the <laughs> the deflect, discredit and destroy. The yes, deflect, yeah. discredit, yeah. destroy. You deny, mm-hmm. you deflect. 
you destroy it. There's a missing deed. But the first thing you do is you deny. You, you train to deny. It never happened. Just is untruth. Pastor Percy talking. Then when Pastor Percy comes with evidence, mm -hmm. they deflect it. You know. get deflected. Hopefully. As in, you go, <clears throat> you know, it's not really me. I engineer, you know. Mm -hmm. Why that happened? Mm -hmm. I didn't move this thing. Mm -hmm. And when you, that's the denial. And when you produce video, mm -hmm. right, then you deflect it toward him. I say, you don't see that is him to push it toward me. So I had to move it because I was trying to make sure it don't drop off. So that, you makes, know? That's <clears throat> a, so that is why early, like last year, um, a minister of government mm -hmm. says that not everything you see and think you must believe it can be, or it can be managed or, or master. Or, oh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can do that. And we see that happening with some, <laughs> some things that we see on media. In the US, they call it a spin. You can put a spin on everything. Yes, exactly. And then, of course, if the person consistently presses at you and says, but we have the video. So, Pastor Michael, don't deny that you put it, your hand on it and don't deflect it to the engineer. Say no. the engineer do it. Then you come at them so you know you see the engineer and pastor person are too weak hidden man you know because you get destroy them by the words you speak yes and you bring up things that are unrelated to the accusation involved to destroy them and it, it, get it, them to back off so that's how they destroy so, person's yeah, character yeah wow. and to think that we have colleges and universities that actually train they train people to do people. that <laughs> It's something not, no, but you see, it is, incredible. It no, is the man. imaginations yeah, of like, men. Imaginations of men. All right. So, so what are you looking at this morning here now? So, so we are saying, oh, well. Bible is saying, seven, um, mm. Kingston and St. Andrew, 2020, so that it, that will go down to popular vote. St. Thomas, 5-4, um, at 94.8% boxes counted. Portland, 6-3. Last night it was 7-2. Wow. So it's changing all the time. St. Mary, 7 six. Yeah, but stop, stop, stop. No, man. It... Putting no results. But real, really, no. This I think the 6-3 changed to 7-2 for Portland is what I heard. It was 6-3, but it changed to 7-2. Okay, all right. Yeah. St. Mary, 7-6. So, uh, St. Anne, 11-5. Trelawney, 6-3. St. James, 11-6. Hanover, 1-6. West Milan 311. Um, and, and, and some things are interesting. St. Elizabeth 9 6, Manchester 12 3, Clarendon 11 11, and St. Catherine 18 23. So, so based on this, the, the JLP have won 7, the PMP have won 4 clearly, and 2 are tied. And then what normally happens is the popular vote. Um, is what determines who is the mayor. Um, That's you're talking about for the each. mayor, for the ones that are tied. So that would oh, happen okay. in Clarendon, and that would happen in um, Kingston and Saint Andrew Municipal Corporation. On the face of it, Mike, um, you you indicated yesterday that when you saw the polls, so even you you figured that. Um, there's a momentum with the person who was at, oops, I see a sign there. Yes, <laughs> we're breaking. We're, uh, we're taking our 7.30 break. Now, this is the Morning Connection um, at 7.31. Your host and co-host, Michael Aiken, your host, Percival Palmer, co-host, Michael Aiken, um, continue to look at what happened in the election yesterday and the principles that we need to glean, take from it, that will help us in our daily living as we go national. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. 
For all your Honda Ridgeline parts in Kingston, call 326-7371 or 821-5232 now. We sell genuine shocks, four steering pumps, engine mount, fender liner, strut mount, front end parts, engine parts, electrical switches and sensors, and many, many more. Remember, we are your Honda Ridgeline parts dealer located in Kingston. Contact us now at 326-7371 or 821-5232 for more details. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica and the world, you want us back? We are back. The break, the break is through the deliverance ministry, led by me, the prophet Mark Stewart, right here on Best 100 p.m. This and every Thursday night, the night from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Yes, it's War Room Thursday. Come on out and join us, each and every one, on Best 100 p.m. 100.1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Come on out. Come on out. Join me, the prophet, Reverend Mark, Reverend Mark, Stewart. Reverend Mark Stewart. And of course, the boss shot, Apostle Marshall, come for your healing, breakthrough deliverance, the prior, the miracle, the word, the testimony, and so much more. Yes, my friends, best 100 FM, best 100 FM, War Room Thursday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Join us. We are going to leave the boss. Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> good morning, welcome back to The Morning Connection. Um, good to have you. This is your host, Percival Palmer. It is now... 7.36 as we move towards 8 o'clock when we open the lines um, for you to reflect on what happened yesterday. All right, so, Mike, um, we were talking about the results um, yesterday. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, what 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 is the lesson? If you were... Prime Minister of Jamaica, mm -hmm. and you are is not Prime Minister. No, you are the leader, President of the Jamaica Labour Party. You are the maximum leader. What lessons would you take from what has happened? That's a very difficult question for me to answer, my brother. All right, but imagine you that it yes, I'm trying to imagine that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying. No, no, no. No, let me be careful here because I know I'm on national mm -hmm. public radio here. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> no, but I'm laughing because you asked me to imagine something there. And uh, it reminded me of, I was speaking to a council candidate yesterday, the day before yesterday, the mm -hmm. night before election, mm -hmm. encouraging him and so on. He, of course, did win uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, he's from the Balcaris mm -hmm. division in Portland. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he had a friend with him. Mm -hmm. Mutual friend, very good friend. Mm -hmm. They grow together. So he asked a friend from our vote for him. The friend say if I vote for you, you know, it's mm -hmm. a friend vote I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. Because you must remember my family. Mm -hmm. The color of my family, cloth, you know. I difficult to vote for your side, man. It is hard to imagine going in a booth and voting for your side, but you're my friend. So, of course, Council, all right, just give me the friend vote. May, may not accept it as a political statement. It's a friend vote. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I guess he, I don't know if he gave the friend vote, but he won, you know, his division. But um, if, of course, to get serious for a moment, if I was the leader of <clears throat> the Green Party, uh, I would take stock this morning uh, because, of course, in life, Wherever you are in life, it's your decisions and your choices mm -hmm. that have gotten you there. Mm -hmm. So if we're, we are as a green team right now, mm -hmm. does not align itself to the objectives that I would have set before this election, mm -hmm. then we have to try and figure out why. And because, you know, God has given me that that kind of mind to dissect and analyze. So, and I always analyze and dissect based on objectives and outcomes. Mm -hmm. So I look at what me and Pastor Percy determined we're going to do or where we're going to be at this time. Mm -hmm. And then look at the outcome and say, all right, where are we? Mm -hmm. And then do a kind of SWOT analysis. What is the reason why we have not gotten to what we have gotten? Or why did we surpass it in the areas we may have surpassed it? Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> where you've Let's say, for example, that we had a plan to win Portland, but no win it. Mm -hmm. Right? Then we have figured out why we never. Let's say we didn't expect to win Westmoreland, but we win it. Mm -hmm. Then we have to figure out, well, what is it that pushes us across the line to win? And how can we exactly. duplicate those best practices mm -hmm. in Portland where we never win, even though we, we thought we were going to win it? So I take that kind of approach. Um, to dissecting what has happened. Uh, now, I'm sure based on the manner in which the current uh, party has governed over the past few months and few years, uh, there's a confidence that takes over. Uh, you should know this too. I mean, as a sports person, after consistent winning, mm -hmm. There is a confidence that time. takes over that Invincible. can sometimes become arrogance and it can sometimes make you not train as hard, not perform as well because you feel, say, you're good. Mm -hmm. And um, every now and then, when an individual or a team reaches to, a, 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 reaches to that, kind of, that, that, that kind of place, mm -hmm. What you say last night is a good wake up call. Mm -hmm. A wake up call yeah, to man. them in terms yeah. of. Yeah, we can't be complacent anymore. Right? So um, I would expect then that whether the general election is called ASAP, uh, close to immediately, that they're going to come out firing even harder than before. Because one thing I. Respect with the Jamaica Labour Party. Yeah. Them have, number one, some smart people who are willing to think outside the box. Now, the there are times no they are outside the box that I don't agree with because the outside the box thinking falls into unrighteous activity. But let's be clear. I really am a fan of outside the box thinking. We don't like the mundane approach to life. No, man. F try to find ways to get around, get over, get through. I think it's even a Christian approach. It's an overcomer type of approach when you think outside the box. Just be mindful to stay within the lane of righteousness as you think outside the box. Okay. You know, so that in, in a nutshell is how I would approach it if I 
were him. And of course, next time you see me contesting, I would be firing even harder. <laughs> yeah, <me laughs> <and tea>. so, <laughs> I would have done the correct assessment. And <laughs> yeah, but okay, so now, all right, so we long What's come the surprise here, man? What's the surprise? St. Mary gone orange or so? No, it's not gone orange. Eh? It's not gone orange. How many, how many, how many five one four, in St. Mary? 5-4. Four, it's 5-4? Five 5-4 four. Four, five yeah. for the PNP? Mm-mm. It's 5-4 for the JLB? Yeah. Oh, one, girl. two, three, four, five. Well, it could be. No? Yeah, it it's 5-4 for the PNP, that's all. It could be, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, because the fa- we're just looking on the paper, paper, in terms of preliminary and results. I think I managed, uh, what's what it called? Manage the, the recount thing. It's, it's going to it's going to happen there. Might in recall. some of the, yeah, the because end. for example, um, the little I know of Anatabe, Anatabe, mm-hmm. it's a Hugh Bryan. Mm-hmm. I know he went to the polls thinking him can't be beat. And what has happened? It's close, too close to call. Yes, and I think yeah, it's too close. The, the next guy come out, reckon out. You know, so there is going to be a magistrate recount there, more than likely. Okay, you so. know and. Okay, so mm. in in interesting um in regards to what what has happened. Um all right, so we were looking at the polls and the polls went psh, close and it, it when it has settled seven four seven four two tied. Okay, that's Clarendon and Kingston and saying Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation. If you were Mark Golden, what would you say? But how would you feel in terms of what has happened? Well, in terms of where they're coming from and where they are now. Do you, you would have said them way? Exactly, right. So if you're doing <laughs> that, no, 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 that, all right. Okay. Just when you when when you do assessment of students, mm-hmm. of sports persons, mm-hmm. uh, of teams, mm-hmm. uh, you know, for example, that it is possible for Percy to be the leading goal scorer on a team, mm-hmm. and Michael be the most valuable player, even though he's not the leading goal scorer, but his goals make the team win. You know, true. So why wouldn't the leading goal scorer be the most valuable player? Because sometimes you find a player who has improved so much that you either give him a most valuable or most improved player. I think if this was a game, the PNP would have to get the most improved trophy or the most valuable trophy because I don't know if you were tracking them over months and years past. They had gotten themselves into the kind of divisiveness and disunity that should have put them they in have lost Never Never Land for yeah the next twenty years. Now some of the players involved, I always used to call them as short pants wearing people because you have you know there's a psychological term called arrested development. That is where you see evidence in, in a human be, being that although they are fifty years old, mm-hmm. um, chronologically in terms of them actual physical age, mm-hmm. when you do deeper checks in terms of them emotional development. They're at 15. Okay, that I know. That right. I know from So we, from uh, the, 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 the PNP, for some reason, had a number and still have a number of persons in uh, leadership positions. And this does not speak to Mark Golden. I'm not speaking to Mark Golden at all there. Where evidently them age chronologically and them age emotionally not lining up. Because you hear some statements coming out of, out of the mouth that if your son this said that, you slap him. Okay. And there you see a big, big doctor man start up for your brother. Something wrong with you, but it's 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 really an indication perhaps of arrested development. I'm, Something I'm, traumatic has not allowed the person's emotional development to move forward. To move forward with them physical age. Uh, uh, you say that and yeah. I just want to I I think one of the interesting things in St. Catherine is Dr. Kurt Alexander Wall. Mm. He was the, That's interesting about that. He was the, the candidate for MP in St. Catherine Southwestern, that is Warmington. 
he had gone up against Warmington mm. and he decided some people said, set down and said no. I think people need representation and he's one all of us out in that thing. Yeah. So technically him just beat Warmington, you know? Yeah, that's technically is speaking. No, it wasn't a contest between the two. But if he was able to step into Warmington's constituency and win a division yeah, that's what after he having contested against Warmington? Yes. That's what he did. He was the person there. So, so I'm saying it's that step. No, I said, no, so it's about serving. need to take sleep, Mark, that then. Him, him serve, uh, yeah. Serving people. Um, mm. And then, of course, well, St. Catherine has gone the way that it was expected. Another thing in terms of the election. The wait, wait, to explain that statement to me, no, man. Explain the country pastor. What you mean, St. Catherine has gone the way that is expected? Yes. Are you one of those who believe that... St. Catherine, in particular, Portmore is PNP country. That phrase done with, you know. I well, mean, well, well, we were PJ gone, and that phrase left to them. And it, well, There's no more PNP country. Well, w uh, what would be interesting um, in terms of what some of the candidates have done, because there is a statement that somebody said, um, if they do not win, does it mean that Mr. Um, the Prime Minister coat still is not very strong because I saw something very fascinating and interesting as you drive around. Mm -hmm. You see, you'd see his thing and then the candidate below him. Yes. But in some of the constituents, it was not that you saw the MP and the council candidate. The person was vying, was a caretaker there. I don't know if you were driving. I saw that. I found that an interesting um, thing in terms of their... Um, election campaign because oh know, well th that so kind of inconsistency is not acceptable no Norman. but no but then mm. for the pmp you just saw the the person it was a max picture oh. it, it was just the pmp mm. can when you drive around you look yeah man see, yes yeah, yes i know what you about it so that is um, um fascinating. and here's something i would like you to comment on let's get over to portland mm -hmm. and east portland in particular mm -hmm. you see these two names here yes I think I don't. From the moment that they entered uh, politics, I don't think they have ever lost. Okay. Those two councillors, Sam McKenzie, and right? Mr. So, regard. You remember in two thousand seven when the wa the green wave they swept through? They never lost. Port Antonio. And if if I were Mark, I would go sit down and talk to Dexter Roland and Wayne McKenzie and, and what say, is it? because you, you do you understand the resources that have come against them and they have stood against perhaps the most powerful member of parliament that the Jamaica Labour Party has when you look at all aspects his his political awareness and smartness and dexterity and, and money. resources and, and money. Him influence and, and his money. impact is and yeah, money. Man, and him drive and money that fallen resources part uh, <laughs> but they have stood against that green wave in East Portland and consistently won so what is it that they are doing that has allowed them despite Portland being painted green on both east and west sides mm -hmm. they have maintained them aren't strong with them come like two Christian who stand against <laughs> The greatest, <laughs> I, you know, I've temptation. I've, I mean, what is going on with Dexter Roland and Wayne McKenzie? Well, you, you, you have the insight into it, and I, and I also um, must comment. Venetia has gone. Um, oh well, now there's another one that I, I, hey, worthy of you know, as you talk about looking at what happens um, nationally and then making application to personal life. Mm -hmm. I was tracking Venetia's. Uh, election results yesterday mm -hmm. and when 90 of 94 boxes were counted yes. I know Dion Jackson Miller was ready to call, call it, it Venetia mm -hmm. and four boxes later she had lost mm -hmm. now you know I remember sitting down going wow wow because I, did, I was one of those who expected her to win because of the hype around the whole situation and so on mm -hmm. I didn't think what's, what's the gentleman Ferguson. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't think he had the Thing to do it, but he yeah. won it. Yes, yeah. But um, you know, sometimes him. when you think things are over, it's not over. And I mean, then, and then, yeah. and then, Curry. You just have lost. to keep. Curry was Curry in the Trafalgar. She lost too. 
Um, she had crossed the floor. Yes, that's Douglas. Yeah, yeah. And somebody was saying that no, her father can't sleep. No, <laughs> can't sleep. Well, it's interesting some of the things that that, that happen in regards to it. So, um, uh, so poor uh, Eastern. I don't know. I tell you. Yeah, but I never I'll know that you, Lee Clark was still about. That man uh, being on Lee Clark, a JLP in White I never know that man was still about the place. I never know. I thought he had gone. He's a, he's a racehorse trainer and oh. thing. Yeah, but I never knew him was still. I've known that name from what he was a boy in terms of what I see happening. Yeah. And hmm, yeah, man, I mean, I... I would want to ask a question how you know he's a racehorse trainer. I didn't know that. I read my. In, my oh, God. I'm I, just checking. And some of the times you I'm probably go to the track. You know, there are some of us who love watch horses race. Don't get you know, me mixed up in that, sir. No, I'm you can not. say anything <laughs> you <laughs> want. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> like, wait a minute. Uh, my wife WhatsApp me yesterday saying, You probably would have known this, but I just found out today that, what? that you can't buy alcohol on election day. No, it was. Oh yeah. my goodness, I can't believe that. Yeah, but yeah, it is. Right. Yeah, it, yeah. And so, some bars were open, and I yes. heard it. People are commenting. So, and saying so, that. so I, I let it slide from me, and I sent back a message saying, "What would you want?" The to larger buy? question is, why were you trying, trying to, to buy, buy alcohol, alcohol on election day? Leave it alone, Michael. <laughs> leave your wife alone. Your beautiful wife. Don't get her in the mix up. The mix up. No, man. So, and no. this guy. Um, What's his name? Jesse, Jesse James, James Clark at Trafalgar. He, he he pulled significantly more than she. And of course, oh yeah, who polled the highest um, number of votes? In, yes, in uh, terms of I don't know what their but, opponent but the did. The two gentlemen who crossed the floor in West Milan have retained their seats. They've retained their seats. Um, Mr. James and uh, Garfield James, somebody I know, mm -hmm. and Ian Miles. They've they've won their seats. So they are the only two persons in West Milan. Uh The gentleman that crossed, the is, it, is it James that crossed from PNP to? To JLP. To JLP. And, and Miles too. Yeah. And then in Cornwall Mountain, um, Donnet, um, Janine Foster. So it's 11-3 in West Milan. But um, as you say, you learn. They ask some money for their vote, says JLP candidate. Ooh, okay. And this is a nice sign. Yeah. What's that comment? They ask some money for their vote, says JLP candidate. Well, well, I don't agree with that at, at all. Of course, as you often said, people died for our generation to now vote, so it shouldn't be sold. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to ask you the question. How do you help people mm -hmm. who are hungry, mm -hmm. who have children who need to be fed? Pastor P., I mean, I visited a family yesterday where two little boy picnic, hungry. How do, you, how do you tell a lady like that? Mm. No, don't get it twisted. I have a deep faith in God. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is unwavering. Mm -hmm. But when somebody is hungry and they steal... Mm -hmm. I don't agree with it, you know. Mm -hmm. When I'm hungry and there's something illegal to gain money, I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. But I can't be harsh to them, especially mm -hmm. when I know some persons who are stealing from a public person and are poor and poor. Mm -hmm. They already have only for money. That is and I don't see them being held accountable. I don't see them going to prison. So how do I... Do that with good conscience. And you know, you know, come slap in. the hands of somebody who has is stealing when I know them stealing to deal the hunger of them two like a picnic. You know what? This is fascinating in Manchester. Yeah, so I he I I represented yeah, man, the PNP uh, guy by the name of Omar. He won, but in, in family and labor, eh? <laughs> so they were disappointed. <laughs> so here it is on the day. So this is the family. Yeah. They are, and, him, yeah. and he went the other side. You know? Well, I tell you, they they, they very councillor from Portland. I told you, I spoke to the night before. Mm -hmm. He's from a heavy PNP family, but he decided to throw his hat in the ring for the Jamaica Labour Party, running as Minister Vaz's councillor. So that that happens every now and then in Jamaica, where uh, someone from a particular coloured family, for want of a better phrase, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Decides to chart their own course. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Nothing no, wrong with that you, at all. And as we have yeah. said here. But just do it based on principles. Based on principles, mm. vote on issues. Um, let us see going forward. But the issues that have emerged is that we can conduct our elections in a peaceful manner outside of the, the things that have happened. And I think out of yesterday, um, in a way, Jamaica has won. But I was hoping... Yes, yes, I would agree with you there. I was hoping mm. that the apathy that is there, we need to shift that, change that. You in understand? terms of voter apathy? Yeah, man. Maybe. Yeah, I know you're expecting a higher turnout. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. You know, well, well, I, th- I think again, you know, Pastor P, to, to throw some of the blame your side again. And when I say it like that. My side? Yeah, man. I'm, 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 sp- I'm speaking in terms church of your, them your, your pastoral. Uh, we, we have to help change that because we are the ones who actually told people Mm-hmm. That past and politics don't mix. You know, that's a question Christ- that came up. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody sent it to me. Should pastors be involved in polit- politics? Well, the PMP, I will if Papa said did that at the beginning. Most people don't know that. Yeah, most people don't know that for real. Yeah, mm. so. yeah but you know, as we, earlier we had spoken about, I, I, I had referenced uh, some, some principles mm-hmm. from social science research where I said the single greatest influence mm-hmm. in culture is the behavior of leaders, mm-hmm. right? Uh, leaders really have to take the lead if you're going to change culture, even though changing culture is an issue of numbers. True. All right, so the people on the ground, whatever the culture is that you need the nation or community to embrace, mm-hmm. you have to get more people on the ground interested in that particular culture. So if you want more honest people, mm-hmm. then you have to really press at getting the numbers of honest people in your family, church, community, nation, outnumbering those who are dishonest. Mm -hmm. Be that as it may, it is the leadership's honesty that is impactful first to drive that process toward the numerical engagement. Okay. You know, so, and then of course, the leader's actions. Mm Mm-hmm speak louder than words so it's not a rhetorical leadership it's not pastor p getting up and saying i want my family to be honest Mm -hmm. yes you have to say that but you also have to make sure that when you hear that on your door and you're saying your daughter and says who is at the door and she come back and say is your friend pastor michael saying come for the ten thousand dollar war you owe him you You don't respond by saying all right tell him something out there because that of course does not support your action don't support your words that say daughter and sons, you must be honest. So our leadership needs to zone in on understanding those principles that we often share. How important their actions yes, are. Yeah, yeah to, to support in them rhetoric. Yeah, so it, you it know? is not just speaking, it is acting and doing the actions that reinforce what you are saying that you really believe in it. It's 8 o'clock. Time Already. Has flown so quickly. But uh, And by the way, <laughs> uh, according to research, Success comes when you do the above consistently. Yeah. So it can't be a one-off thing. No, it has to be right? consistent. No. So the questions are, as we look, reflect on what has happened, is this indeed a new beginning or is it same as usual? I think it is. Well, I think we need to press for a new beginning. In terms of what right. is And for me, I don't know where you stand for me, the new beginning is the embrace of of a new set of core values, man. Come okay. on, Jamaica, China, man. We hear that. We can. Yes. I believe we can and we shall. Uh, it's now 8 o'clock. This is the morning connection as we go to our break. This is Percival Palmer along with Michael Aiken as oh. we move into our 8 o'clock news hour. When we come back, we'll open the line. But just before we open the lines, we just want to pay a tribute to Peter Morgan, the lead singer of oh, Morgan yes. Heritage, who has passed away. Hey, so rest in peace indeed. No people come to Jamaica, no, no, oh, we live things, say everything nice to we full of vibes and things, eh, eh. Them same one feel it to them heart when them get few of us and the real thing, yeah. Me day at town one day, a power with a white man will come all the way from Norway. And him turned to me and said, 
How comes Jamaica full of summer screw face? Same time me lift me head to the sky And a teardrop fall from me high Me say man you'd come with gold for a drive Let me show you why me cry Look on the gully side Do you see anything to smile about? Look at that hungry child, yeah See anything to smile about? Look at the schools that you them go to get them education. Do you see anything to smile about? Look at the conditions of our police stations. Do you see anything to smile about? No. Same time the brother said. How can the nation believe in this way? This and way. the next thing him say, yeah. how can the government play so many games? See him time my heart fall to the ground, cause there's much more where that comes from. Certain place they are worse than slum. Youth man come and take a look on River Town. Do you see anything to smile about? Look on PM Land, yeah. Do you see anything to smile about? Frank has my bay and Safran's heights in the Spain. Do you see anything to smile about? What flats can tie your mud down there all the same? Do you see anything to smile about? No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, when I say, no people come to Jamaica and no know how we live things say. Full of vibes and things, eh, eh. Them see them one feel it to them heart when them get for you overstand the real thing when them look on the gully side. <laughs> them no see nothing they they be smile about when them look on a hungry child, yeah. Them no see nothing they they be smile about when them look on the schools where the youth them don't forget them education. Them no see nothing they they be smile about when them sight up the condition of the police station. Them no see nothing they they be smile about. Best 100 FM, broadcasting live in all 14 parishes. Hanover 100.5, 100.9. St. James 100.9. Trelawney 100.3, 100.9. St. Anne 100.3, 100.5. St. Mary 100.5. West Milan, 100.1, 100.5. St. Elizabeth, 100.1, 100.5. Manchester, 100.1, 100.5. Clarendon, 100.1, 100.5, 100.9. St. Catherine, 100.5, 100.9. St. Andrew, 100.5, 100.9. St. Thomas, 100.5. And 100.9. Best FM, giving you the better vibe. Best FM, 100 on your dial. Keep listening. Hello, I'm Neil Nunes with the BBC News. The leader of a huge drug trafficking network responsible for a wave of murders and attempted murders in the Netherlands has been jailed for life by a Dutch court. Ridwan Taki, was, who was born in Morocco, was not in the heavily guarded courtroom for the verdict. More now from Anna Holligan. This is a trial that has captivated the nation. The criminal pursuits of Ridwan Tagi revealed a new type of Dutch mobster and signalled a worrying escalation in the drugs war. He was not among the eight suspects who attended the hearing. They were brought to the high security court, nicknamed the Bunker, in armoured vehicles. Outside, heavily armed police wearing body armour stood guard, while police surveillance drones buzzed overhead. The nature and scale of this case is unprecedented in the Netherlands. Six gangland assassinations four attempted murders and preparations for even more liquidations. One of Russia's best-known human rights campaigners, Oleg Olov, has been jailed for two and a half years by a court in Moscow. Mr. Olov, who is 70, was found guilty of repeatedly discrediting the Russian army. 
He was initially fined at a trial last year, but prosecutors demanded a stiffer penalty. Mr. Orloff played a leading role in the Nobel Prize-winning group Memorial, which was shut down by the Russian authorities. South Korea says North Korea has shipped several million artillery shells to Russia to support Moscow's war in Ukraine. Both Moscow and Pyongyang deny that North Korea is supplying Russia with munitions. More from Jean McKenzie. Seoul and Washington have been tracking shipments between North Korea and Russia ever since Kim Jong-un and Vladimir Putin met last year and struck an undisclosed deal. South Korea's defense minister believes the North has now sent more than 6,000 containers of military supplies, which could amount to as many as 3 million shells. In return, he said Moscow had sent thousands of containers of food. Russia needs extra ammunition to keep fighting its war in Ukraine. Thousands of people in Nigeria have held demonstrations at the beginning of a two-day strike against the rising cost of living. The protests in the capital and elsewhere started hours after talks between trade unions and the government failed. Here's Mayeni Jones. So it seems a few thousand people have shown up at this protest that's organized by the main umbrella organization for unions in Nigeria. And they want uh, better pay, they want an increase to kind of the minimum wage. They want the government to stick by an agreement that they've done last year to increase the pay of civil servants. And they also want the government to tackle some of the economic hardships, the high cost of food, the high cost of fuel. They want the government to tackle all of these things because for the average Nigerian life has been very hard lately. This is the latest world news from the BBC. There are growing concerns that Hamas may reject the terms of a Gaza ceasefire deal drawn up in Paris over the weekend. The group is still studying the draft framework and has yet to respond. The agreement would include a 40-day pause in all military operations and the exchange of Palestinian prisoners held by Israel for Israeli hostages. Hamas has repeatedly demanded a permanent ceasefire and the withdrawal of all Israeli forces from Gaza. Farmers from across Poland have converged on Warsaw in a protest against EU regulations and cheap Ukrainian grain. It's the first time they've taken their demonstrations to the capital. Here's Adam Easton. I'm here in central Warsaw where thousands of farmers have come from all across the country to take part in a protest. They're going to march on foot to the parliament building and to the prime minister's office where they're going to complain about what they say is a flood of cheaper Ukrainian agricultural products on the Polish market which is depressing prices and making it difficult for Polish farmers to make a living. Now the government has been sympathetic to the farmers although it's saying Listen, we're steadfast in our support for Ukraine with military support and humanitarian aid, but we won't do that at the expense of the Polish farmers. Police in Germany have arrested a former member of the far-left Red Army faction who had been in hiding for 30 years. Prosecutors say Daniela Kletter, who's wanted for murder, was arrested in Berlin. The anti-capitalist gang is accused of more than 30 murders committed between the 1970s and early 1990s. Poachers in South Africa killed more than 500 rhinos last year, despite increased government efforts to tackle the illegal trade in horns. The figure marks a rise of more than 10% on the previous year. BBC World News. <laughs> Best 100 FM brings you youth resilience and empowerment with Royton McLaren each and every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. A program that can enhance the family, stabilize in youth behavior and be empowering. So tune in to Best 100 FM each and every Tuesday night where negative behaviors and attitude can be changed. Grandpa! Where are you going? But see ya. I have business done by JPS and I need Stephen to take me. I'm going to see what I owe and pay. You know how to leave the yard, Pops. 
Just call 888-225-5577. You mean if you tell me, say, me not have to wait in line anymore? We have recognized the number that you are calling from as being attached to account number 301842. Watch ya. Uh, how them get me new number? How them know is me? Grandpa, I registered your account. So when you call from this phone, JPS already knows you and they just give you information. Look where me live, Fissy. Thank God for you know young people. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Half a tree, half a tree, one already, two and Ready, mama. Ready, ready, ready. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> For all your Honda Ridgeline parts in Kingston, call 326-7371 or 821-5232 now. We sell genuine shocks, power steering pumps, engine mount, fender liner, strut mount, front end parts, engine parts, electrical switches and sensors, and many, many more. Remember, we are your Honda Ridgeline parts dealer located in Kingston. Contact us now at 326-7371 or 821-5232 for more details. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music let us promote your goods and services for you advertise with us for more information call our office at 876-276-8935 that's 276-8935 The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show we aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> good morning, welcome back to The Morning Connection. It's now 14 minutes after 8 o'clock. We say good morning to you on the morning after our local government election, which a lot of people say was a general election, but it was a local government election. On the face of it, the, the GLP has retained um, the seven that they had before. PMP has won four. There are two that are still to be decided um, because the number of divisions are equal. But, well, we say... It could be a new beginning in terms of how do we do local government. It's really in the hands of central government in terms of the resources that are needed. But more importantly, I would say in terms of our mindset that we change what is happening. With me today in studio, he's been with me all of last week and this week online from Portland. But now he's in the studio and he's here that he can answer some of the questions that you may want to ask. Remember, the lines are now open for you to come, 876-279-8473. This is the Morning Connection, and we await your call. Um, One of the things, even as you may call in, and we have been saying here that, according to the good book, all government, whether you like them or not, ordained by God, and we need to do what they must do. But they must also remember that they are delegated authority. And if they step out of that whole framework, then God says, you know, I will deal with them. But you leave them up to me. You do what you must do. Hold yourself accountable. Do what is right. And then we see the other things that will happen in terms of how government is. But... I keep saying to people, don't take away yourself 
from the process. Exercise your franchise. Become involved in your community, in your nation. You know, I have discovered that if you really want change, you have to become involved. You cannot sit and, as it were, say what you would do. Armchair politicians. Good morning, caller. How are you? I'm fine. You I are, was a bit disappointed about the turnouts. You are you are yeah. disappointed about the turnout. Hi, how are you? Yeah. you, you do? We need to move it up. Yeah, we need to we move it up. We live in a, in a democracy. The majority of us need to decide who leads or who, who, who takes care of the government. Yeah. Or what about the office. Yeah. So we need to work on that uh, about um, probably 15 months, even shorter. <laughs> you, <laughs> jigsaw. Jigsaw. I, I, I think my personal thing is I think we might have a, a general election long before. Um, based on uh, probably, a, probably a Christmas one. Yeah, a Christmas uh, one. Because, <laughs> yeah, because those who want to call it time could only call it deterioration. <laughs> oh boy! I yes, I'm here hearing you, Jigsaw. We hearing you. Yeah, yeah. But another point. Yes. I I heard on your guest speaking to uh, the problems the PNP has been having, and it um I don't see it as a recent thing, you know, with it, a challenge for. For the last two leadership contests. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a watcher, mm-hmm. I'm looking back at 2006 mm-hmm. when Porter came to be president on a minority vote. Right? Oh, right. And how could four persons, in, in seasoned politicians, mm-hmm. go up for one position? Mm-hmm. You, know, you, know, you know, either the two that was landing behind. Mm-hmm. You know, two you supported whichever one of them you favor. Or, okay. Or, or, or more tell you to, to, to one. Oh, I see what it, you said. The election came through in a minority vote. Mm. So that's why I'm supposed to start this nonsense. He didn't go to the, didn't go to the poll early enough. The did a battle and calling on all kind of influences from elsewhere. Okay. And then comes the... Um, the hurricane. <laughs> the oh, you mean? Oh, you mean the? Oh, yeah. yes, that hurricane that happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a delay for a couple of months, I think. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's where the genesis is, right? So what? What does she play out in the last two um, contests? Mm-hmm. You know, it's just a, 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 a dribbling of it, mm-hmm. and and that's what um they have the split and the turn off. Mm-hmm. Because you know they were unable to get the voters out. Okay, get but their, their voters out because it was divided. But but jigsaw, but jigsaw, you 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 rightly call it. Some people says is one commentator I will not mention. I said it's part of the judgment on them that them say we never win another another um election until them sort themselves out. And we we don't know. Um, because you know there's a feeling and I saw something that somebody was saying that the PM should have called the election long, long time. Um, because what he has allowed is for the J- the PMP to regroup and become stronger and you it people you say, call general election. No man, joint call the local government election longer, say because when they were depleted, them, should us do it and wipe them out and just retain all of the council. That was a feeling. Yeah, so they says yeah. no miscalculation. But the, the point is enough. Mm-hmm. That party mm-hmm. don't have any real interest in local government, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's the, the history. Their attitude and their behavior is everything central. Okay. And, and the thing that local is just a name. Okay. Just a name. Okay. Because let me tell you something. Right? Mm-hmm. It, it was broader around even development. Mm-hmm. Right? From your dream, vision, mm-hmm. plan mm-hmm. to implement mm-hmm. or to maintain. Right. You have, you have to fund it. That's true. Right, on them. Yeah. So whatever else going on out there, shimmy shimmy. And yeah. people think they're you're gonna get confidence in a certain way. Yeah. If the person you are held on or are swayed and are left to right or under under over business. 
Mm-hmm. You are violent. You can't deliver service to the people. And that is what people are calling for. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, what... People must call for it. People yeah. must see through it and call for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Because now that they um announcing in the election and they, they, they claim there is funding here to do this and that. The time to do it is when you start a new regime. Mm-hmm. To determine that the percentage of the budget going to go accordingly. You can rationalize it according to population size or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So the people can plan around that because whatever you're planning, you know, if you're planning, you're planning outside of a evil, uh, uh, available or a um, uh, budget. Yeah, you, you can't do anything. You really can't. You really can't do anything. I've raised a point in. I yeah. don't know if Mike wants to say anything. Well, I agree with Jigsaw that the mm-hmm. <clears throat> the disunity uh, in the PNP began with the candidacy of Portia Simpson Miller. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where it started. And by the way, let me inter- I- inject also, Pastor P. Part of that is your fault because Christendom carries to the table this idea. I don't know where you stand on it. That whenever there's female leadership, it is something negative. It is a sign of God's judgment. And some of the, some some people take that on now and believe that is true. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. I. I no, it's tr- Jigsaw is a Christian thing, really, you know. No, I know no, pastors no, who will no, tell no, you no, that no, from no, a no. from a female is going to be the leader. That is a sign of God's judgment. I am not no. sure where them get that theology from, and so so that in general has, general has affected any female who tries to uh, aspire to national leadership, especially. And then the other aspect that is unspoken of the the elephant in the room, you know, you know. You know, Mrs. Right. Simpson Miller came to politics from she has been a child, 16 years old, and I'm sure you know the road she had to walk. And when you have to, when we kind of put some dirty pressure on our females when they uh, uh, live with us as males, Jamaica in particular, it seems, is at fault with that, where we will use and abuse and misuse. And then, Use okay, that right. to measure the character of the female. Okay. <laughs> that affected. And I, no, 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 is is a serious thing, you know. And we need to, again, as church and as people who follow in God, we need to fix them thing, the man. What are you saying, The patriarchy is heavy, you know. Say that again. The patriarchy is heavy, you know. Breaking up. Jigsaw, what you're saying, my brother? No, I'm saying the thing against female is heavy, you know. Yes. Yeah, man. Heavy, and man. It's heavy. It's at leadership. Yeah. And uh, you guys are, you know, pastoral rule. Mm-hmm. You must pack it in other church to yeah, begin man. with. Thank you, sir. We must do it. For yeah. real, man. All right. Break it down. All Break right. Break it down because it's unchristian and, and all kind of things. Yeah. It's not it's loving. It's what, you, it's what you bring to the table yeah. and what you're here to deliver yes, in sir. terms of service or stewardship. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And by the way, I, I disagree with you, though, you know, Jigsaw, on the, on the election, uh, the general election date. I suspect that uh, yeah, Sir no, PM no. Sir PM may go straight to the polls now because him don't want no more deterioration. Uh-huh. So he may want to use this momentum. Because well, I had uh, said to Pastor well, Percy, if it's close, he might call the general election early. Because you don't want to... Give the people them time to get stronger and stronger. Yes. But, it, but Because it, uh, clearly, the evidence does show, Jigsaw, you agree or disagree, Mark Golden has gained strength. Isn't that true? Yeah. This is not the Mark Golden of a few months ago. We weren't even sure if he won the position. So therefore, yeah. we weren't ready to get involved with him. But no, he seems to be gaining traction. And yeah, um, yeah the wind the is the in his sails. The call has come. Tell yes. Say my it's not that him going after it. It has come to him. It yes. has come to him, yeah. And you get better leadership on about circumstances. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We need to respond to it and understand. All right, All right Jigsaw. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Long time no hear you, man. Yeah. Give somebody else yeah. a chance. But people must register. 
Yeah, man, that's I'm it. Out and vote. Register, go out and go vote. Away. Yeah, man, I agree go with away. you. Yeah, man. All right. I'm not sure which side you can put your head down. But, but you know, can vote. Who are the majority making the decision? Yeah. All right, then, Jigsaw. Right, Thanks for calling. Up. Good, good. Right, yes, up. my brother. Interesting. You you mm-hmm. always a throw thing in a day. Thing in a day. The, the, the thing in the ring for mix up the water. Eh? Well, <laughs> you must be able sure. to know. I'm say. trying, my brother. I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Go ahead, go ahead, caller. Good morning, Good morning, caller. Hello, morning. Good morning. So, where are you calling us from this morning? Kingston. Kingston. Uh, yes, man. All right. It's tied in Kingston. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> well, as I, can, I, I, I see the people, some of the people are. The eyes and ears are open. Okay, right. So they want... came out and they, they, they did what they know was right. Okay. Right thing to do. All right, sir. <laughs> and uh, I am telling you, Mark Wallen having the support of the Jamaican people mm-hmm. is, is poor, didn't go down in vain. Okay. I mean it and that is what the people need. The people don't only need to see you when election time, though. Mm-hmm. You need to make time, if I even one day out of each month, you set for your parish. I'm going and generate. And go down there and go down there. Mm. And wait election time. Put mm. that in your, 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 your plan when you come in power. Okay. To go and talk to the people, let me see. We know the Prime Minister's job is a tough job. Mm-hmm. We well, have to mm-hmm. put that day out of each month to each parish. Okay. Interesting. Have to do that. Well, yeah. mm-hmm. well you know, as you said, I think call her. Um, I heard his Gen Sick, um, Dayton Camp, Dr. Dayton Campbell, commend the leader of the opposition on the fact that he really worked. Yeah, man, worked with this island tour. And he was willing to make the physical sacrifice of getting up early and hitting the road so them can reach some critical places way in the country and the hillsides and the valleys. And um, if that kind of work ethic continues, then I I, I suspect that we... are going to become a very slim man. Yeah. <laughs> and they, 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 I'm glad I touched on that point too. The, the thing is, you see, we need to move away from... You see, we have politician talking about the seat cannot be won by this party. Yes. All seat can be won. Oh, true, sir. True, true. That is true. All seat can be won. We need to just put all the effort yeah. and, and do the work. Seat them. And do the work. And do the work. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All seats, all effort, one hundred percent but all seats. You can win the seat. Yeah. In no matter who have it. Well this is I think what has fooled persons, you know. You see this, as I was saying to Pastor Percy earlier, there's no more PNP country. That is a claim that was made that disregarded the fact, you see? That people are people. That P.J. Patterson used to work behind the scenes to organize the workers of the PNP to deliver at elections. People oh, didn't see the work he used to do in that little VW all over the place. So, them just see the result, and as a result, say, oh, a PNP here this, a PNP country this. No, it's the result of hard work by somebody who had that idea that if you get to in the ground and organize people, you'll see the results. And I do believe I that um, the, the current the, the, prime minister has taken. Mm. I was watching the prime minister last night, mm-hmm. and when I look at Del Road in the early part, it was like a ghost town. Mm-hmm. And they were so ashamed that it's we opened the hours and the, the, the first campaign is gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's shame. shame. It's just shock. Just shock. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, well, you remember on this program, you know, um, Minette had said, she, she had a dream. She said, she just saw surprise that some people mm-hmm. are going to be surprised by mm-hmm. what happens. And it looked like she was being prophetic in terms of what she saw. What's his name? And well, you see, this is, this is Kingston. Mm-hmm. I see the, the, the last two seats that I am a, a pro them last it. Mm. And, and the Jamaican people glad them last it too. Which one that? You mean Trafalgar mm-hmm. and Papin? And Papin, the, those two females. Okay. I, I know the country, even if we didn't lose 
all the seats, um, them. Mm. Those ones you don't want it to win. <laughs> Can't be no you leave it. Those two that, 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 that the JLP lost would be a victory to win. Okay, then. All right. We'll take a break. It's 8.31 now. All right, then? Blessings. Okay. You want to call back? Good. Blessings. Good. Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Jamaica. Jamaica and the world, you want us back? We are back. The break, the break. The break. True Deliverance Ministry, led by me, the prophet Mark Stewart, right here on Best 100 FM. This and every Thursday night, the night from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Yes, it's War Room Thursday. Come on out and join us, each and every one, on Best 100 FM, 100.13579. Come on out. Come on out. Join me, the prophet, Reverend Mark, yes. Reverend Mark, Mark, Stewart. Stewart. Mark Stewart. And of course, the boss shot, Apostle Marshall. Come for your healing, breakthrough deliverance, the prior, the miracle, the word, the testimony, and so much more. Yes, my friends, best 100 FM, best 100 FM, War Room Thursday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Join us. We are going to leave the league. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Milan. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968 7506. That's 968 7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vijam Printers, your best choice in printing. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. Nine, ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, we have a call on that. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. 
Good morning, caller. Thank you for holding. Yes, morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank oh, you. Thanks for holding. How you do? Yeah, I'm doing wonderful. You know? Yeah, man. Where you calling me from? Manchester. Manchester. Okay. Manchester gone back. PMP, man. Fully more. <laughs> yeah, um, in my uh, in my constituency, mm-hmm. um, I have a schoolmate. Who won? To go Manchester. Who, you, we used to go Manchester together. Uh, me... He is now a councillor, you know. Um, mm. It's a PNP, PNP era, so in, in that constituency, I think, mm. all the, all the, all the councillors won as PNP, you know. Okay, all right. But you are the man who said we need to have new constitution also. And throw yeah, a man. PNP yeah, and JLP. Yeah. That, that him say, Mikey, take your man for me. He must say, you must throw a JLP and PNP. You must go JPP yeah, but, and um, UIC. Um, <laughs> um, Maybe um, the time has come for real, my brother. Because they, they have not proven to us that them can do the work properly, man. So we might as well yeah, need, man. yeah, look for a new set of people out of the 60% that constantly don't vote. Yeah, and if you notice... I was telling Pastor that yesterday, um, when I was driving through, the vote, I think in the history of Jamaica is the lowest um, voter turnout for a local government election, 29% something like that. Um, that's what they're yeah, that's what they were saying. The, the voter turnout was very low. 30 yeah. point, 30 point something, 29 point something, same as 2016, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we do want to talk about our road this morning. We are traveling for about. We are talking about the road. We are talking about five years. Alright. Me, me are traveling for about two and a half years. Mhm. From from Spalling, sometimes we go Chilean, we go mm-hmm. Rio Bueno, mm-hmm. Rocko. Sometimes we go Discovery Bay. Sometimes we go Ochi, Runaway Bay. That area. You know, we travel from Spalling down to that area. There. Um. For two and a half years, that road there, some spalling stone. So you drive out that spalling stone going down, you see the road even sink and stuff like that. Um, it's the baddest road I've driven over for two years straight in Jamaica. Which road that is road. that again? From spalling to? From spalling going down to Cave Valley, going up to to a place named Abuka. The, yeah. the road is very ter- bad, like bad, you know? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if the MP know or there's an MP there, but two and a half years the road is very bad. And what happened, this, the, the base of the road is, 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 is really the stronger part of the road. So what happened now, the soil there is, I don't know if it's clay, it's supposed to be clay or something like that. So in, in the need to fix the base of the road, because if you just put on some um, mm. barber green on the top of the road, Oh, so yeah. First of all, what parish is that again? Manchester? No, it's Manchester yeah. to Trelawney. Oh. I said no, the right Clarendon. first. Clarendon. Clarendon, Clarendon. Clarendon to, to, to Barrowbridge here, Abuka and Tentan. Okay, yeah. right, right, right. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, the road is very, the base of the road, you know, that is the strongest part of the road. You know? It, it needs to be fixed, right? That's what you're saying. Then fix it, then fix it a few times, but because the base is not good, it just sink back again. Yeah. Okay, so you need to do like how them usually build road in a Jamaica, a real stone, <laughs> and then you put your yeah, base and yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. In regards to politics, now, um, um, Edward Siaga was a uh, was an American. I think he was born in Boston. Yes, that's right. right. Mm. Boston, Massachusetts, yeah, he came here. He was an agent for America against Michael Manley and Cuba, because Cuba was with Russia in the Cold War era. So Please put it correctly, US, sir. Uh, against yeah, US, Jamaica, not Michael Manley only, Jamaica. Yeah, so they used Siaga, I think Reagan, yeah, they used him as an American, even though he him, 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 him get rid of American citizenship. They used him, he was an agent for America here. Um, they used him against Michael Manley. My, my parents told me that in the 80s, if you want a pound of flour, you have to buy sanitary napkin just to get the pound of flour. You know, that, that is called marine. There was a whole lot of yeah. marine, yes. Yes, yes. So they use they use him against Michael Manley and Castro and stuff like that. Anyway, he was the one who trained Andrew Onis. 
All right. Next uh, next next year this time when election is called, mm-hmm. Andrew Holness will not be Prime Minister of Jamaica. The people them will get rid of him. The reason why the voter turnout is so low, the people them will wait until the real general election call. I will be I will be voting if if um, I am not really for the PNP, you know, but I have I voted one time in my life for Portia Simpson. Okay, all right. Yes, and I will be voting in the next election, maybe. Why, so why are you voting? Let's talk about the issues here now. Uh, what? Okay, so if, all right, you have consistently said that mm. PNP nor GLP has worked for Jamaica, right? So yeah. what if what if a third political entity enters the foray? Because there are two other registered in there. You have UIC and you have JPP. What if I, a base on their their platform, their manifesto, they say, boy, this is what I want. Would you then vote for one the candidate for that? Um I am I am more for the third party, but to be realistic, mm-hmm. I, I have met with Mr. Patterson there, man, so um, You're not so the, sure. The, the UIC is not fully organized to, to win an election. The leadership is something is wrong with the leadership there. Um, infighting and other things. So ah, if, hear the word again? The, it's a the infighting the PNP, country. Yes. If the PNP, I know about the UIC, I, I've been there. Yeah. Um, if the PNP put up a cat for leader. You will vote. We, the Jamaican people, is must that not. If they put up a cat for leader in the, in the PNP, mm-hmm. we, the Jamaican people, must go behind the PNP and get rid of Andrew Honest. You know why? Andrew Honest have disrespected us oh, so over you... and over again. He have breached the Constitution. Um, in in one in one video in the COVID era, he went up somewhere in Saint Andrew. A uh, uh, old lady was there, and he was said. Like, he was saying to the Ole, you take the vaccine? The Ole said, no, I don't believe in that. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. And and here, Andrew Ole said, um, a God make the vaccine. You remember? <laughs> yes, we remember all of that. You remember? Yes, we remember all of that. Yeah, so you are cannot, saying we, that. So you are saying. cannot keep a man like that. Okay. All right. So I hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, um, tough time. Tough time went to, went to Montpellier era in St. James. He was going through an van. Um, a young lady said to him, we want water, sir, you know? If you take the vaccine, you'll get water. We don't want people like that. We have to let them know that. When you go against the people, we fire you. Okay, all right, sir. Mm. Yes, so, 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 so I believe the PNP will be mobilized more in the general election. A lot of people are going to vote because they're frustrated with Andrew Ones. Andrew Ones will not be prime minister. All right, so you're Jamaica. being prophetic. I don't, I don't, I don't like him, you know. I don't want him to be prime minister here. Okay, anymore. then. All right, so we hear your personal <laughs> preference, my friend. <laughs> so, all right, thanks, thanks. You have said what you have said. 876-279-8473 as we continue. Thank you, my brother. From um, it's kind of interesting. Do you mm. think that the sentiment is that strong out there against the leadership of the the, the JLP? Well, there is an underground dissatisfaction that the uh, JLP seems to have. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Santa Cruz. How are you? Not Santa Cruz, Pastor. Cruz. All right, Cruz. All right. What are you saying, Cruz? <laughs> Uh, older than you now, and your memory always look like it worse than mine. <laughs> all, right, all right, then, Cruz. All right. My apologies, sir. What's up? What's on your mind? You see, it, did you saw the Prime Minister's speech last night? No, no. you tell me, because I never, I must confess, you know, me. The, the, the expression home. on his face, the expression on his face, you can see that he was shocked. He, he, he wasn't pleased, he wasn't happy. Okay. It was, was he shocked? Was he surprised? He wasn't shocked, but, you know, something in between where he never expect things to go. He did expect to win more. Yeah, man. Undoubtedly you know? so. And the, the, the part where we can understand with him, and he's like, Jamaica people accept certain things, you know, even though them say it no wrong. When them say they can't fix, them just let it go by. Mm-hmm. But if he did have a thousand more people like me in a Jamaica, Jamaica would have run better. Yep. Me hear the man say, the last election, the main thing people are talking about is job and crime. 
and you know hear them say nothing about it in a this election. Okay. You think the prime minister is supposed to say that when crime high same way mm. and there's no job and even the little job where people have can't buy food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. That's a Pastor, I work I work seven days a week. Yes. And if me tell you how much me spend in the week to Perfect. food to carry my son to school and get, me don't know how some people survive. I, and I, so and I understand you talking about cruise because that is a reality and and and, and Verva and it kind of say too, you know, that it we, we talk about livable wage for people to live and when somebody come, I saw this, I had somebody say them, them earn minimum wage and them proud about it and I'm saying, but that can't help. I know the case of a young lady work minimum wage and then she have to pay nine hundred dollars a day for bus fare alone. Mm -hmm. she eat. Yeah. So I know what you're talking about. Why you believe why you believe so much killing a woman and so much jacket and bone are going in our country. Cause a lot of women are work but they pay can't carry them through so they might pay have a second or a third. Seriously. Second or, second or third job or second or third gentleman? Gentleman, okay. gentleman, okay. pastor. Okay. Me just ask you, no, well, I don't, you know, me stared with that, you know. So, mm -hmm. and me think, Mike, we saw, but you, but you, that could be a case. But, um, so if you are saying that if people had livable wages, a lot of the things they say happening would not happen, correct? It would not happen, it would not happen, and people would more comfortable. And, and more conscious and think better because when you're under stress in a pastor, mm -hmm. when you can't find gas in your car or your engine mash up and you can't fix it and, and, and your son to go to school and empty, it stress you so your brain cannot function right. So true. So true. You when you're under pressure, under when you're under pressure, your, your brain cannot function, you can't think good. Okay. Pastor, mm -hmm. I do body work and me never see so much car on the road I drive without front bumper and back bumper. You know what cause that? Too much money to fix it? No. There's too much accident. People now think so they're running a people back. Okay. Or something like that. Interesting. Sorry, oh, the other thing now. Uh -huh. This guy where 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 follow party. Me no need him advice to say we he come and and help PMP get rid of because he should have said that before election. He should have said that before he said that party is not going to use car. Let me tell you something yesterday. Me, all right, me, all right, uh, all right. What, my, yes. All right, my, remember, my, we, we, Cruz, remember, we don't want to talk people's personality. No, Say, all right. yes, yeah, me understand that, but, okay. but he's always an attack at the people. But anyway, I don't really attack me at him, attack him, I tell him the truth. The I went, <laughs> I took my baby mother to vote in Brisbane yesterday. I, I, I voted in Pepper because I was living in Goshen when I took everything. And some Brisbane people is telling me that the people who were, were, were working for Patterson said they didn't vote for him. So why? Why would I have somebody working for me and then I vote for me? I don't know. I can I cannot tell you. As I said to you yesterday or somebody else, I don't know what is in people's heart. I can only judge based on their behavior and action. So it, there must be other reasons. So unless them come and tell us, then we can agree with you. But there must be something in that that should cause the leader of that party to look into himself and to do introspection the same way as we've been saying today, uh, Mr. Go Mr. Golden and Mr. Coolness. Coolness must be the introspection based on what has happened in those elections. Well, yeah. I can tell you one thing. Even yeah. though the PMP didn't win the win win all the win the majority mm -hmm. are so I think they still win. That's that's your thing, your opinion that they have won based on what was against them. Yes, mm -hmm. because right. they won the majority. I mean the the popular vote. The yeah, popular won. vote. Yeah. All for right. this longest while, the last time, I think the first time JLP win the popular vote was the last election. Okay. I could be wrong. Mm. PMP always win the popular election uh -uh, vote. And if you see them can't do it now, that means there's something. Something is know? happening. Yes, something is happening. All right, Cruz. I'll give somebody else a, a, another a All right. All right, then. Thanks for yes, calling. Sir, good, good. Mm. Um... As me have to remind, Cruz is one who is interesting. You have some interesting point of view and opinion. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, man. Um, good morning, caller. Thank you for calling. 
Good enough, good enough. I'm all into brave with my people who is my father from there, Jordan Valley. Do you see us? At them side of the world, they come from Bossy. Pastor, when we used to work, I can't get a leave off work Friday night and come on Saturday morning. I straight to Brazil. I know where Brazil is. Yeah, yeah, man, I know. Yeah. Was, where is that? Yeah, I don't know where that is. Where that is in St. Elizabeth. Saint we Elizabeth. don't know St. Elizabeth. Like yeah, yeah, man. Man. Where is Santa Cruz, man? Yeah, man. That's where Brazil is. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, right. You turn off and go to Brazil. We're here to that famous place, the pastor, where I that famous here of the region of the land. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pull me that thing. What's up, Dave? Yeah. What's your feeling? What's up? Yeah. Um, my feeling is good enough. Very good. Yeah, why? Very good. I, I'm going to tell you something, Pastor. You see, politicians. Yes. I, I'm a tough fact. Mm. I vote. I vote for the independent person. When me and my wife are in town, and then I have to go to vote for to vote. Okay. I never really want to drive over there and then I end up squaring the ballot <laughs> for, them. For, the, for, the, for the mayor because I tell myself, I don't mind the PNP in a pastor, but I feel if PNP gets me that certain people, they are all right. They will get my vote. Like, okay. get you a man for me and a few other men. But you can't be saying something new. I still have this, the, the head dirty. For, for, for the chapter maximum. So, if we ask you on you. Okay, all right. Understand? That I can I, understand. I'm sorry to God, I never want Andrew Wallace me because Andrew Wallace get too comfortable and they are focused on one. They're not focusing on the issue of the people, the real issue. You go to the tax office, there's no service. There's a basic thing, there's no service. I'm past that. Mm. When I went to supermarket Sunday at Brooklyn, I took up a little piece of starfish pasta. Mm -hmm. I remember before COVID, that starfish was like $100. It's $500 for starfish. No, it's $600, $600 starfish per starfish. pound. $600 per pound. No, I said I don't know if I pound an ounce, but, but <laughs> we can't tell you. the starfish and the market where I know poor people used to buy. There's not for poor people again, pasta. And Andrew will feel, to feel understand that. that. You might have friend them. Mm. Them mm. to address the pastor. So, but, but you know, I was listening to the BBC News and the people in Nigeria have gone on two-day strike. And one of the things that they were talking about is the cost of living. And what blew my mind was the cost of petrol and fuel because Nigeria is of oil and then something. Oh, was one oil, yeah. so, so the concern that we are hearing here is a concern of people all over the world that they... they are, but Pastor, mm -hmm. in my Niger clock, they found the read up this T V interview and the person who asked him you know, asking Andrew on this about the, the tax. What you call it? There was a name. What you call the wrong name and Andrew on and national T V are pretending like they're the gas on tax. They must say there's no such tax. No man, and there is no man, there they, there's a there's a the, the tax on gas, but on Pastor, the interview both of them apart to the lady asked the wrong name. Mm -hmm. So, they might it, 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 play mind game now. That is not the name for it. But they might pretend like there is no tax. Mm -hmm. And you seen face last of my Niger class. Mm -hmm. The excitement is not there, Pastor. The look of depression is not there. So, in other words, they realize that the people really are sending the message. Then, is respond now. I'm not thinking about the election because them know them that is not them. true. That is okay, not true. Okay, from the one sky election tomorrow and next week, mm -hmm. them are going to lose because them, this is just to test the world. This is a major election pass. Mm -hmm. This is just to see what the people in head there. Mm -hmm. Then we might just stretch it out till till next year. Because them say, boss, we are going to stick to that. That is good. But the issues pass, they are talking about minimum wage. Mm -hmm. That's all them can't talk about a minimum wage. Why is it that them don't give themselves minimum wage? Or is it that you want to emphasize so much a minimum wage when people can't buy nothing? You get you the minimum wage and the people can't afford basic necessity pasta. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. The people must suffer pasta. Well, well, you and I understand and know that reality. The question is, 
will our leaders understand the reality of people and do everything within their power to get it done because in a lot of countries you know um, because we some of us watch it the government has said you know we can do this but we're gonna forego this because we want to ease the pressure and the burden on our people because if you put people at the center of what it is that you do then it will drive your actions but it's a different thing it's about me and my friends i said go make up thank you pastor these guys can do better because yeah. if you realize now pastor the people them are vote you know mm -hmm. i think if pmp get them people out mm -hmm. they will vote i visit a couple of polling stations prh all the way and it's the average man in the ghetto where i feel it come out come out. all now i don't really see no real you know, so no, make a class. no man, man there man it. don't take it well i can where i live is is that era but i've seen the 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 persons in middle class have but when town people peter phillips here at right now man man they rustle and mm -hmm. but, but observe you see my when when i went to work more kind of i'm not saying middle class don't vote to mm -hmm. but i am saying it, it, look here now pastor if andrew wallis can't check Two hundred percent human and prayer and government. He must be understand so that's the biggest mistake. And him was smart. Should have been should have waited and win the next general election. And then do that because he must go to that have a repercussion. And him, you cannot do that pass and then come back. As a matter of fact, we drop a attack for minimum wage pass. Why would can't stop patronizing people and set up the system where people can benefit, where them can save and buy a tool of maybe room housing trusts? Why we are talking about patronizing the people and stick to that? But yet still, if you want to serve the Jamaican people, if you love the Jamaican people so much that you can give up your doctor work and your life to serve Jamaican people, don't take the pay. If okay. you serve them, don't. All right. Just don't take up here. Interesting. Um, yeah. Mike, you want to respond because you want to take it now. But they will hear what you're saying. And last and the last thing, last thing, I want to dig up a campaign, 12 year old who last night on the TV I saw I was feeding some people downtown. She and her mother were feeding. The mother is not even 100 percent They were but feeding. After I saw these things, Pastor, there's no way I could have really send our vote for Andrew. Andrew will not have to come new and different. I know he like. Yes, he might take things for granted because there's no competition with him. Okay, all Jamaican right. Jamaican people are very effective. All right? Okay, then. Long life and big up to the crew. All right. Big yeah. up to the guests who's there. Yes, yeah, yes. thank you, my brother. All right, blessings. You know, but, but I, you know, Mike, even as it's 8.59, I'm going to the 9 o'clock break. I tell people all the time, mm -hmm. I cannot wait for politicians to do what I can do. Because, what you mean by that? No. And because there's certain power that I can do within my circumstance. Mm. Somebody called me and said, boy, I mean, I have no food, you know. They said, boy, you know, we have a food program mm. at church. Mm. I mean, I have no food. We go in my cupboard and, take out, and yeah. pack a bag for the person care mm. we give to them. That is what we have to do. That is how we bring about real change because when the bottom start to rise under those things. Yeah, but, but all right, let's be fair from it, though. All right. You see, politicians also i hear what you're saying you're correct when they keep people at the center of their decision making but they also the reality of this global community mm. that nations are now a part of is they have to um also respond to some external forces that can determine if you live or die today there are some external funders that we have gone to for money that make demands so it is it is on the, so on the so one so hand it is you're correct. Any politician coming to the table have to have at their heart people. the people of and Jamaica. Balance that reality against but, what the funders say. And but we sign no, off your, but my use God. your very example of the food situation where you're going to your pantry. Yeah. But imagine if I was some type of external force mm. that simply said to you, I can drop into your house at any time to look in your pantry. And if you don't have salt fish in there, you're not getting rice, you're not getting baked flour. beans and, uh, and flour. All right, All right. which Silent means that, that when you go to the pantry now 
and your heart is 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 yearning to satisfy that I, call. Up. I prefer. Yeah, brother, I prefer. It's not so brother, easy. It's not easy, but it can be done. Yeah, and but it, yes, and but it starts with it's nine o'clock. It starts with heart. It starts heart. It start right. with heart. It's now nine o'clock. We take our break. We have a call on line. Thank you for holding call. And we come back. We'll go straight to you. Live camera volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Jamaica and the world, you want us back? We are back. The brain, the brain, the true deliverance ministry, led by me, the prophet Mark Stewart, right here on Best 100 FM. This and every Thursday night, the night from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Yes, it's War Room Thursday. Come on out and join us, each and every one, on Best 100 FM, 100.13579. Five, Come on out. Come on out. Join me, the prophet, Reverend Mark, Reverend Mark, Reverend Mark Stewart. Stewart. And of course, the boss shot, Apostle Marshall, come for your healing, breakthrough deliverance, the prior, the miracle, the word, the testimony, and so much more. Yes, my friends, Best 100 FM, Best 100 FM, War Room Thursday, 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Join us. We are going to leave the to leave the Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Woodland. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord.
For all your Honda Ridgeline parts in Kingston, call 326-7371 or 821-5232 now. We sell genuine shocks, four steering pumps, engine mount, fender liner, strut mount, front end parts, engine parts, electrical switches and sensors, and many, many more. Remember, we are your Honda Ridgeline parts dealer located in Kingston. Contact us now at 326-7371 or 821-5232 for more details. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. It is good, good morning, Pastor. Hey, hey, Barry. How you doing? Yeah, hearty, man. Me, me, me energized, man. We get a nice show already. You see, we oh, pray and answer. Oh, me pray and answer. When I pray, I believe, you know, that we must get... When you say you pray, believe, and God yes. does it. That's we great. That's that great. God delivers. Yeah. I remember you said you did a pray hard. And yeah, man, me pray, man. Yes, I prayed. Yeah, man, I prayed. That is good. Bless God. Yeah, man. Yeah, anyway, more I say big up to all the callers and listeners. And you second beside you. I'm the engineer. Also. Yeah, man. Yes, more, my brother. Yeah, more. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm more I say the deepest condolences to um, Peter Morgan. Yeah, mm. Peter Morgan, the singer, yeah, yeah. yeah. his yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. I think a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, you boy, Lauren. Yeah. I lived, I lived him in a sports world, you know. Yeah, man, he really was, yeah. he really was, he man, really was. He was a legend, man. I don't see no man to touch him, to who he for him, to know, because he did really good. I yeah, mean, really know? know him stuff. And, it's, and, it, he, and that is somebody who... Because I know him personally from childhood, I would say. And he has always been that to him. Usually play TT too, you know. For him oh, Diego. Yeah. yeah, man. So, oh, and he re- table tennis. Yeah, man. We play table yeah, tennis, man. I, I, a good I, table I tennis player. Game that too, you know. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah? Yeah, okay. man. I'll, I'll be old and I'll be still play, man. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. All right. Yes, yes. Yeah, man, we so. like that game there. Yes, he was really a giant in our team, you know. Yeah, man. And he has commented yeah, yeah. on world championship at Olympics and so on okay. for the Caribbean, for um, Carib- Ghana news media. So he know him stuff. He know him stuff. Yes, yes, yes. So election gone. We got more things today, you know. I am glad that you did. And I want more persons yeah. to... The pastor, yes. And you can't remember me going to come. Remember, me tell you, I go to the police station already. Said place of a Palm Mountain school. Yes. And turn back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but Barry, as I said it to us, you know, and you are old enough. Cause you born in the forties or the fifties? Fifties, fifties. Right, and you are just what ten, fifteen years removed from the struggles that have happened, and you have lived overseas, and you know the struggles that people have. So I'm saying, yes. if our brothers, our forefathers, fought for us to get this right, we must take it lightly. And even though you yeah, might not agree with everybody, you you still must make a choice and a decision as to vote. Yeah. Right, and the thing about it is, when we not go vote, you know, mm-hmm. and we end up losing because you know we lose now. Yes. Even the ones that are supposed to see at least a thousand voters, mm-hmm. you know, we end up seeing two two hundred. Right. You know, we and plus the amount of ink. Yes. Right? And the amount of paper, electric papers and things, and it's no use. So we still end up dashing with money. So yeah. I, when we check it as well, you say, everybody will go with your, 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 your side, you know? Yeah, man, they must go do that. Go, go vote yeah. and make people know what they're thinking. And then coming yeah, out of so the election, Barry, I, is that the popular I, vote was won by the PMP, although the JLP has retained... Um, the most of the councils, the, the most of the councils and divisions. So we give God thanks. Yes, yes, because sometimes you need some shake up in the party, you know, because when them do it too long, then you get too comfortable and think they're them yard forever. <laughs> like you put it, them yard forever. So they don't yeah. feel that they're accountable <laughs> to the people, no. yeah. The member of um, pastor, I check out the, the leaders of the world, mm-hmm. all of them. Yes. Every time them go in a leadership, you know, I help you take them out there, you know. Yeah. 
Kayoa are one hundred years old. They want to rule. They put a man like Mugabe. Mm. I'm not taking Africa with Mugabe. Yes. Mugabe should be a hero to black people all over the world. You know? mm. <laughs> and instead, the man becomes a, 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 a wimp. Yeah. Because you know, all the man, Nigeria, the old man, no uh, give up. Yeah. I, and you went to Ingo, married one, but I said that they are part of the old man. No, I, want to renew, I want to renew him. I want to renew him. He want to renew his, his youth, man. It's like a David situation. When David did that, they them said, let us see if him really are dead and him go for a, a virgin and nothing never happened by him. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, I was a virgin. Remember last week when I said, 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 Because that's what the Islam believe in. When they go to heaven, they are virgins. But you know. Anyway, no, a crude man is a regular to me. We be no cool. You don't know the very average. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> well, me check you know. You see, you know, I come out here with me, so. Yeah, we still have to pray for him. All we right. We are praying for him. We can't have to do everywhere you, you yeah. say where you want to go. You get me, so. Every man has been trying to do what they want to do in life, you know. That's that true. But everybody, yeah, you see, that is something that God has not taken from us, the freedom to choose. All right? Yes. All right. Yes, yes. So, so anyway, we are going on, and they are going to kill this one. Wait a big up to Miss Minute and your husband. Anyway, they soon come. They soon come back, man. All right. <laughs> yes, yes. Because you know, so I was going to tell Remember, see, I was with friends before that, you know. Yeah, man, no problem. True. I was with friends before, so you know, you take the vice friends before, you take the friends before, you know, so we kind of miss one of the, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yes, indeed, my brother. For real. Yeah, for man, real. Yeah, yeah, All right. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Do you have another call on the line, engineer? Well, we've been exploring, of course, what happened last night in our local government elections. And uh, even though the dust is still settling, call on the line. All right. Yes, Good morning, yes, caller. Call Who this? Cruz, man. Cruz. Oh, Cruz, Cruz. are you called back? Yeah, All right. Give me, give me a minute. <laughs> I won't give call me. you Santa Cruz like Pastor P. I'll call you Cruz. What's up? Um, when I want to explain to a lot of people. Say it again. Um, I want Mugabe. Mugabe is one of my heroes. He's in my top 10 hero in the world. All right. But, but when you have a country where you go to hell with European. Yeah. And you don't, if you know, say you lose, them will come conquer your country again. Mm. So you have plan to put somebody there where you know we keep your ideas. That was the thing with Mugabe, just like um, Putin. Yeah, yeah. Amer from, from, from Putin winning up, America try everything yeah. to get rid of him. Yeah. And him fight him way out. And if you never have a Putin, Right now, U.S. would have conquered the whole world. Yeah. If it wasn't for Putin, Africa would have still have got to hell. Yeah. And Putin and Russia have been helping Africa from ancient times, you know, from past mm. cities come right up, you know. Yeah. And today, what they do down at down at Niger and then place it. And, and if it wasn't for Putin, they could not do it. Yeah. So a lot of people don't see the bigger picture where Mugabe was trying to do. Even when yeah. he married a younger really? person, and what it is idea of the continent. That was it all. Yeah, man. That was all about him country. He never think for himself. Well, I agree with you, know. I agree with you, Cruz. You see, the, the bigger picture that you're talking about, and in fact, Pastor Percy and I were just alluding to that. Sometimes people don't understand that it is possible for a country's leader to want the best for your nation, but the external forces that come against them demand otherwise. And yes. if them not strong enough in them heart, first of all, to stand against that. And then if them don't have what it takes behind them, because let me tell you something. You see, if Putin had, de had, had decided to develop Russia the way most black leaders develop them African countries, where if if uh if if a bigger country step against them step to them them are forgiven because uh, number one them not have nothing for fight back with i yeah, mean but, 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 you know they, they they don't have any even though they have the resources 
that the country wants, but them don't have the guts to deny and to say no to some of the stupid policies that these international countries and agencies bring. So is a, pe people, people have misunderstood Mugabe, and of course because for some reason the international press tends to paint in a bad light. The Leaders of color. To get rid of him. Yeah, man. Constantly put you so, in a bad light. And so, and then we believe it as black people ourselves. Yeah, but all right. We, I understand that. But, but you know, if you have a country, Cruz, and your people are suffering, and there is corruption in your country, you see, if your heart right, look at Botswana, what the gentleman did, which has become a case study in terms of how a leader set up him country to achieve and everybody have a good set because after that time Mugabe became corrupt you know even though he started out well like me, pastor, like, pastor, no. pastor hear me hear me yes hear me I'm hearing you in the Caribbean when I was a little youth yes sir Cuba was the most corrupt country mm -hmm. and Castro Castro was the wickedest man in our world and I'm 1972 when GIS got on there with Michael Manley, 73, and come back with some GIS video. And I said, then that Cuba, that's where they did that tell me how Cuba stay and Cuba no, but come you here see, start but school to you, 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 so, miss, you missed the point that we're making because the media, that's why we talk about mind games, the media yeah. will seek to paint you in a picture that make you look wicked when in fact you are doing some good things, but because they yeah. want to slant the 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 what you call it now the the narrative the narrative a certain way they do it because remember you know if you remember when covid came there was a certain narrative of fear you remember that yeah right yeah. and oh, the media was free, pushing free light, I won't take the injection i mean take it <laughs> never free light. all right then so but but you have a point there we're not going to say no to what you are saying and that's why you have to learn to be able to decipher what I, and what to work I through saying, yes i remember when this this pmp x pmp man i think um he used to wear the piece of cap then when he came again he died it was a big guy in the PMP. dk duncan um, dk duncan huh? dk duncan no man not dk which one? Paul Burr? Um, he, I think he spent some time in Africa do, doing some lying. Dudley stuff. Thompson. I, Dudley Thompson. Dudley Thompson. When I heard Dudley Thompson licking out and Mugabe back in the days when after America put sanction on the man country, you know, mm -hmm. after America, England sanction the man country, you know, after he started taking land, you know, after he started sharing land, mm -hmm. his country started going down, you know, yeah, well. And then put sanction on him, you know, make, him come, make people start suffering and them attack about corruption when England and America and Europe is the most corrupted place on the face of the globe. Well, all right. We, yeah, and that is your, the most corrupted. And guess you use very emotive language. But so it is. But you understand what you're saying. And you need to be balanced in terms of what you say and the perspective. Pastor, because we I know. I am so balanced. And I'm balanced me, and I'm, more than you. And you know that. I, but I'm not going to take you on with that. Because I may have different things. But anyway, I give somebody else another call. All right then. All right. Close, all right. Close. Me more balanced than you. you need all right then. Pastor. Close. All right. Sure about that. All right. No problem. <laughs> No. Um, as as um, <laughs> Cruz, Cruz is an avowed socialist communist. Cruz believes that every white person is wicked. If, if, no, that is Cruz. Eh? But good morning, caller. It's now nine. Good morning, caller. Morning, Reverend. Hi, African. How are you? Nine twenty. It is. What's on your mind today? Morning, African. Long time I don't hear his voice. You know? But you say African? It's good to be here. It's good yes, to be yes. here. So what's on your mind today? This, this morning. Mm -hmm. Who you say win the election? Well, the PNP retained, <laughs> the GLP retained their, their seven things. Reverend. Yes, sir. Who you say win the election? Me say win the election? It depends yeah. on what perspective you take. Well, the GLP won more parish council seats than the PNP, but more yeah. people vote for the PNP. Who win the election? 
All right, tell me what you're asking me. Because me want me because it depends on what perspective you're looking at. Is it that the people have won because they had the the the, the popular vote? The PMP has won popular vote, or the GLP has won because they have more councils. Oh, do you? So, what What is your thing for winning? You must have a criteria. So you tell me what your criteria is. Last night, me I watch, yesterday me I watched the media from five o'clock. Yes. Now me I listen to a particular station or them say a JLP station. Mm-hmm. And then yes. Ah oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and what and happened? And me I listen. Huh? Go ahead. We're listening. We're listening. Yeah, me I listen to the station and the man I said the PMP I lead from the half. Mm-hmm. Until the final, him, him, them said PMP win. Mm-hmm. But this morning now... He wake up and JLP win. He wake up and JLP win. So I wonder, what, is, that, is it a Trump thing happen? Someone who win the election, we want to know enough. Okay. Want to them people, yeah. That's it. Well, well... African, there may be the need for some majesty or recount, so we have to wait till the dust settle. But yes, you are correct. Some people are surprised that the call was made early because when you look at how the voting going, I remember 72% of boxes nationwide were counted. And the PMP was winning? Way far right. And then... Who uh, want know what changed in the last four boxes or the last two well, boxes? I, I, I don't want to comment on that, Pastor Percy. But the, the um, host that, the that's interesting um, because look at all right, one seat in particular with Venetia um, Phillips. Um, remember, there they were 40, uh, 44 boxes? 40 out of 44 boxes counted, she was winning. When the other four boxes came in, she lost. So and uh, so I don't know. That was say you, you the, yeah yeah. The PNP did a lead lead this or two for a long way until she passed one time. Yeah what no. And then the PNP go back around three that's so. Okay, well. What may I say? hmm When I look on the T V you see the map. hmm Full of orange all boat. hmm What changed in the last half? Probably you know what happens to and this could be an explanation for what. It depends on where the boxes come from in terms of the polling division. Reverend, we need some explanation from the, the, the man who the, 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 the man with the, the election. When yeah. we, when, when, Mr. When, Brown, Mr. Brown, Gladstone Brown from the EOJ. Yeah. We, we need some information from him this man, this man you know. Well, um, African, here's the reality of the situation. You can have boxes that ha- have majority votes for one party. And that's known. And those boxes are counted last. It, that is possible that, that of course, um, African could be running against Pastor P and African leading. But the boxes from Pastor P... Stronghold. Strongholds. Strongholds. Now count it. And when them come in, come in, African don't have much votes in those. So in the final analysis, African... Uh, loses That's the election, the even though, you as in the Venetia Phillips case, for example, um, when 90 of 94 boxes were counted, she was leading. But four boxes later, she loses the election. So that is actually a legal possibility. Yeah, um, those of us who stepped I into the arena, notice. go on again. I noticed that I used this or enough for balance, this or enough. Well, hold on, hold on. We're well, going to get the full said. story, even though I know sometimes Pastor Percy don't like. Let me talk the full story. The, 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 the truth of our political system and our uh, sometimes very immoral people, regardless of their profession, the truth is that there are times that uh, there are those who are assigned to monitor counting as it goes, Mm-hmm. And there are times in Jamaica's history in the political history where man of box pack with votes from before election day on standby just in case the vote count is going in the direction they don't want it to go. So all those and those boxes it. appear out of nowhere and are counted 
and it make an election call one way or the other. Now, the, 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 the collusion is taking an African. That means the police are involved, electoral office people are involved in that kind of dishonesty, uh, which is why one of the reasons I believe that no matter who we turn to right now, whether it's PNP, JLP, UIC, or JPP, if we do not change our core values, we're oh, going to have the same ripoff going. A vehicle that drives behind a police, a, behind a police patrol last yesterday evening. And this vehicle run over a precipice with the box, with the pallet box. How would that go? Oh, yeah, you for tell me, sir. Where, where that happened? Um, which where that happened? Huh? Where did that happen? I never heard that report. Yeah, man, in a Jamaica, man, we don't know which part special, but in a Jamaica. Oh, it was reported. Okay. Say it again. What it happened? Was, what happened? A, 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 a police vehicle, a, a carrier vehicle with some ballot box. Mm -hmm. And the ballot box, they're behind the police car, but anyway, the ballot, the ballot, the car gone over the, the precipice. With the vehicle, oh, the ballot box. The Where that happened? With the ballot box, them. Where that happened, African? Where that happened? In, in a Jamaica, Reverend. I know, but where exactly? In in. I don't know where it's special. I never. You yes, heard that? Special. You heard that? I love to. That's interesting. So the person. A news not here. But a straight news not here, you know. Oh, but let me ask you: Was anybody injured? Anybody died as a result of the car going over them the precipice? They never thought that. That's why I say if a car gone over the precipice, it bullet back some people. And you know, you hear nothing more what happened to the people, my or to the bullet back them. So you me know, get the news there. The news is not finally come out yet. Wow. Well. And, and, and the man where the man where where where, where, the, where, the, where the policeman killed. The one oh, that was in flankers. Yeah. Yeah. The people them not said the, the, the man never have no gun on them shot them on. Well, that's one that you you. <laughs> that's one you always hear. Um, and no killing no go on yesterday. No murder no go on yesterday. And we no give that. Uh, no uh, uh, and okay. But I give so God. What, what? Eh? No, I'm saying I am glad for the peaceful nature of the elections yesterday. I what you're telling me in terms of the police vehicle accompanying uh, uh the, the 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 it would be the electoral officer with the ballot boxes to to where yeah. the general counting happened and it go over the precipice and we have not heard anything in the news about that. That is that is that is Frightening that you don't hear anything run, in the media about Reverend, it. Reverend, run to investigation, Reverend. When I hear me coming at our things, okay. you run little in investigation and find out that's not the truth. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a major thing. That's a major one. I guess I think there, you know. All right. But as you pointed out and said up to last night, it was the map look orange and then. Yes, Reverend. And then it the changed. map on the TV. It look orange. Full of orange. And then you know I'm not, you know I'm not voting now, Reverend. Okay. All right. But the truth, me like the truth. Me no business who's one of them. Okay. All right. Then. Me no business with a party. And why nobody not celebrate this morning? Well, some people were celebrating last night, you know. Where? The PMP was celebrating last night. Yeah, but the GLP did not celebrate last night, too. So. No, man. Them, them was very muted. No. <laughs> muted. No, they had a press conference. There's no celebration there. Well, I tell you, I drove through two parishes last night, African. And I, I knew the thing didn't go the way it was the Green Party wanted it to go because I was in shock at how subdued they were. Because usually in the northeastern section there that they greened from 2007, once it goes the way they want it to go, man, there's rejoicing, man. Mm. And yesterday, all meeting places where they're known to meet, I Was drove to and no, so I said, okay, look like it's not going good for mm. so we'll the Prime Minister and his crew. So we'll see what happens. But thanks for... No, no celebration. How can an election run and people win and they not celebrate? Well, it depends on... Eh? It depends on what you... You see, it's, it's again, it go back to expectation, Africa. There you go. For expectation. Real. Because if you expect it to sweep, hold on, if you expect it to sweep everything and to win 14 and obliterate somebody, then you'll be celebrating. But if you don't go that way, they say, well, uh, you don't even know if you can yeah. celebrate or not. All me know, the people in the ground out here need to hear the final count. Yeah, man. All right. It will happen because yeah. there's going to be a final count at the EOG. Yeah, yeah because you can't make the people out here at, at King 
and I think and I think and I think that's true, that's true. And, that and, work, you know. and the ele electoral commission is one of the, the institutions that has weathered the test of time and has done well. All right, African, thank you for calling. You it's now nine. Up, tell, the in, tell that investment, tell the commissioner, yeah, come up with some, some answer this morning in a car. It's not two million voting right back then. Yeah, all right then, African. Thanks. Good. Give thanks thing. Yeah, good. <laughs> VegJam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. VegJam Printers, your best choice in printing. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-365. Nine ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Vejam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vejam Printers, your best choice in printing. Half a tree, half a tree, one and drive, half a tree. Bossy, how are you doing a tech taxi star? Jano, I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we saw all that time I shop down and never call the experts. Winters ought to have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose your problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me man. You yeah, hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me send you. You are your big star. Yeah man, respect my boss. I try and call him because trust me. Spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876 276 8935. That's 276 8935. No! The water gone again! Yo, Dave, where did you get your water tank from? <laughs> Multi plastics tanks a lot? <laughs> oh, yeah! I heard they're selling cutting edge water tanks. Let me find my way to 37 South Road or call them at 876 968 6657 now. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning, it's 9.34. As we come back, remember the lines are open for you to call. Oh, we have a call on line. Good morning, caller, how are you? Yeah, Master Cruz, um, Cattle Dupa St. James. I that know. Accident happened. Yeah, you, you heard about yes, it? Yeah. Yes, on TVJ, Cattle Dupa St. Okay. James. All right. Yeah, man, thanks. I've, I just looked in the paper, Cattle du Dupa is in St. James, Southern, and there were three divisions there. Four divisions, uh, three were won by the PMP in that two. Cruise, but but cruise, cruise have the red line number for best FM. I don't know. <laughs> it just that him know how to call. I think that is what happened. Uh, I think he might engineer into something. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Carla. How are you? Hey, I was going to start that. It was in St. James, but it was, it was not a police week. It was a 
electoral office yeah, vehicle, yes. Vote in the box. But it, crash. but they were, it, it crashed or it went over a precipice? Went over a precipice. I'm, I'm wondering, first thing is, how are the people? Are the people okay? Well, people are okay. Yeah. The people are okay. Yeah. And, um, but normally when you are transporting, um, boxes, you have police escort, don't you? Yes, it had an escort. It had yes, an escort, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. In fact, they were first on the scene when the accident happened, the news said. Yeah. yeah. No, man, once you transport by it, Max, you must have an escort pass. Okay, all right, well, that is what I know. So, I never yeah, heard this about it. The pastor, this, this shooting, I mean, question. In Flankers. I'm not sure, man, if you are watching, man, would you go to a polling station with a gun? I don't know the, 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 oh, the possibility of that. That's what I ask everybody that. If you well wanted that, came on national TV or the BET camera pick you up. Mm -hmm. Would you go on port and put a 9mm in well, 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 let me answer that one for Pastor Percy. It, 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 my, here's the thing. If you figure that you will be protected and nobody now fast, so you do it. All right. That's that's one answer. That's one no, thinking. I, that's and a... you see, your generation and mine, Carla, yeah, we yeah. would not think to do something like that. But this is a generation. This is a generation. I'm mean, telling you. They, know, they know, have so, no sense of fear yeah, because man. remember, Twin, you know, um, people were talking about that young man, the 15 year old who died in the motorcades in, in St. Catherine. Yes. Mm. And one of the things is psychologically and physiologically, they say that your brain is not fully completed until your early 20s. Yes. So that is why adolescents make some stupid decisions. Why don't them do that? Mm. So it's a part of the process and probably was a young man. And that is, and, and you know, just to digress a little bit, that is the challenge we are having in our country especially with the young males. Mm -hmm. You do a father in your house, mm. you're under no rulership or governance, and those things help you early to begin to move, to better mm -hmm. understand right or wrong, and to know what you must do and what you can do. So we have, a, we have a fatherless culture in terms of a lot of our people, male and female, young boys don't, don't grow with them father. Yeah. Yeah, and, so, and, the, and the impact is it. I know a lady who did a recent research on it. Um, um, something the white, white wife did a PhD and it pointed mm. out to the fact that it's a major thing and Herbert Gill continues to, to speak ad nauseum about the fact that why so many of our young men choose a life of crime and are creating problems is the lack of... Father, yeah, man, the father not there to insult yeah. the thing, and also pastor. It's mm. it all after the finance, but they find them easily getting to scamming mm. or anything. Yeah, yeah, so true. Them see them yeah. grandmother, them see them mother, mm -hmm. a struggle pastor, and them see yeah, politician can't own how much he can land a, 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 a center, man, and drive Porsche, Porsche, uh, and these people. And it's not a good enough pastor, but <laughs> we are saying spread the wealth. I mean, and, enough and, to say and, for everybody. Why would one man want to keep a hundred million and still there? And people are suffer. Oh, eh? but and the question is, about so I want to know when Mark Golden <laughs> are going to do about the, 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 the increase, the, the, the rise and increase every day. What is the implication? But he has put <laughs> something on the table, you know, to his own thing. I wonder if we can get him on the program one of the days, Mike. Yeah, your, man, yeah. We I'm can get it. Try, yeah, man. All right. But we ask him, what is it? Yeah, what man. is his solution to some of the challenges that are yeah, out there? Yeah, but Pastor, you notice all now, even last night, you know, Andrew Wallace, he not just the price increase every day and then don't no, adjust it all now. He can't do that. He's not it don't exist. And we are trying to tell himself, people and need to know what is that meaning. Yeah. Because it's, it's the private sector that might increase the thing that Andrew Wallace and my country will write about to make the people know the truth. Say, me and my country will write, make the people know that I'm around the thing and just mm -hmm. fake for just up on two weeks. Okay. All right? All Later. Right, uh, lessons. Um, Mike, mm -hmm. that, that is a vexed issue. You have said that there are international um, agencies, international agencies yeah. mm -hmm. that that pressure us like yes. we, a challenge we have is with food security but you know under some agreements you have to buy certain yes. raw materials from people and yeah, if you don't do it you now get the money exactly we signed the wto agreement years ago mm -hmm. and, and people don't, and the government i don't think 
has done a good job. Governments have mm. better PMP or JLP has not done a good job to explain to the people no. what the implications are. And they have to begin to do that. Good morning, caller. How are you? Morning. <laughs> Mary, how is sweet your son? Morning, Pastor. The other Pastor, Mary. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. Why I'm calling in, you know. Why are you calling? How are you? How are you doing, Mary? What's up? You see, I laugh. What's sweet you? I have to laugh. Yes, if you don't laugh, why you want me to cry? <laughs> <laughs> What's on your mind today, Mary? Pastor, how are you? I am great, you know, sis. I'm great. I'm great. I want you to pray for me and others. Yes. Uh, well, them say Jamaica is not a normal place. It's not Jamaica is the people. Jamaica is a lovely place. <laughs> the people them are not abnormal, yeah. Yes. It's us the people, every one of us. Yeah. We, we have too many, me, myself, and I. We oh, want some yes. us and we. But you know, last y- y- yesterday, you know, Pastor. Oh, good man. Excellent. But, Mary, I, I was telling <laughs> people that all of us operate on double FM, and I'm saying, yeah, talk about what's in it for me, FM. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, you know, Mary. Uh, and the, the gospel of the kingdom. No, it's a serious, serious yes. thing, you know. Yeah. And the, and the pastor, mm-hmm. the pastor that is not the pastor is a serious, serious Yes, it thing. is, man. Because some of us don't want a lot. You know, some people in Jamaica, mm-hmm. they born and grow water, never come through the pipes or mm-hmm. electricity. Mm-hmm. So true. So true. That's so true. And he knows that because he come from country. Mm. In a port it, 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 it's too much. It's overwhelming with people now. People can't tell. I spoke to a lady last night, and she's she, she's migrating the whole family because she said she wants a better life. Yeah. Yeah. And she has a, a home up Stillwell Road, and she has a business. Wow. Yeah. Yes, the whole family leaving her brother filed for her 15 years ago. It's not nice to wake up in Jamaica, yeah. and it's not the place. No, I've been all place. over the world and Jamaica is the best, but it's yeah. us, the people. So because true. Because in sometimes let me ask you something, Pastor Percival, mm-hmm. right? When I talk, it, it, um, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand clearly what you're saying. People are suffering, you know, the basic thing. If you want, I'm repeating it. Mr. Earl Jarrett, sit down there, right? Mm-hmm. And you can meet these CEO, CEOs just like the Prime Minister, all them do. Them flying all over the place. The Prime Minister, no, remember where I'm coming from, you know. He's living well now, but if not remember where I'm coming from. Okay. Because if I go like him, I remember on a fly plane. Mm. <laughs> and I live well. And people are so free. What's up? Earl Jarrett of um, Jamaica National, you can't get them. Six okay. weeks now, I'm trying to get them. And well, right? well, well, you're to using this media thing. So, okay. Can anybody else help in the organization help you with the information or you want to speak directly to him? No, because you call the answer and you and you want the extension, it rings without an answer. Oh, well, that's another challenge in terms. I saw something in a paper, a gentleman, who is well known, said this, he's worked with a he's been with a bank for fifty one years. Arms, man, foolishness. And if you go over to Mega Mart or so, sometimes the machine not working. Oh, you it's mean not the, to go. Oh. Think about it. Mm-hmm. That somebody has to go all five, six, ten places. I know somebody that live here. Ten places, him go one ATM machine. People don't have them breed of money. Them can't even buy food. Them not working. So, you understand? Pastor so, number two, dear. What's your name, Louis? No, man. Aiken. No, mm-hmm. but, but that point, Mary, I don't want you to miss it. We have what a point major. Am I missing, Pastor I don't know. No, I want to put my finger on it. You see that thing so with I ATM? ATM? You see, you see the thing with ATM? Taxi and go down to Jamaica National or to BNS or to Sutter to get information. When you go to the door, them do even want to let you in. Lady Mary. Mary. Mary, here's the thing. You see, until we change certain them core values, them right. things are not change regardless of which party is in power. You know, you're, you're talking to an issue where, all right, only a certain set of Jamaicans are treated nicely and treated first class and given access to whatever service they want. That is only for a certain set of Jamaicans, okay? They're usually in the ruling political class or ruling business class. One percent of us can get access to things because we have money and power. 
Then there's the rest of us who life is hard because, as you're saying, simple things like trying to find an ATM. With money, nice. I, yeah, I, I, I agree with her, you know, because but it's Pastor true, I, P, agree with her. I had to drive last up to last night, you know, mm. to St. Mary to try to find a working ATM. And up to no, I haven't found it. I haven't found it. No, uh, the systems in Jamaica are not working well because many of the persons, Mary, who are in positions of power to make sure them work. They have I no know, business with I you or me. The pastor, they same one. When the yeah. English left here in 1962, them leave some order, right? And these people took over and they, they are even treating us worse. Oh, well. A lot of the things and pass a person. Look how long I sent um the lady, um, Professor Elimaya Shearer's email, right? And I have heard her on the radio saying any radio station she'll come on okay. for certain benefits and so That's that solid. um people don't know about. You know, Pastor, that is there. Let me tell you something. And I'm talking it and when I come at calling over Mega March, mm -hmm. I said to them long ago. Put two concrete benches outside so people can sit. You know how many people faint over there? Mm. And that is and that is just basic Nicotine things that we can right do. That I'm talking. And I'm in agreement you with you. There, there's no line for senior cities for your stand up, your stand up, your stand up. We don't we don't care about people in Jamaica. No. Well that true. is true. I we agree with you hundred percent. The little things, Mary. The little things are so important because the little things yes, make the big yes, things work better. Yes, Friday night, Don, it's 11 o'clock I was having my dinner. Wow. Because what? People from abroad, I don't know what about me that people, they want to talk. This, family problem, this. So I have a friend, to, no, tomorrow morning she come off work at 9 o'clock in Florida. And she's going to call me and I talk with her till she reach her home. You have others in Jamaica. People need people to talk to the way the situations are. No, that's you true. understand, Pastor? The mm -hmm. little things. And I that, know somebody what... right now, right? She has a good job, but because she went to Tivoli High School, she can't get a job at Grace Kennedy. But somebody else will go to Woolmers. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Name all over the world and them sponsor. This is the Jamaica we live in. We are both right, 50 Jamaicans. You, I like it 50 gold is not too. Mary, thanks. We are at the, the, the time when we have to call a quits but, to the but program. Pastor, we want some action. Get up every day and talk the same thing. But well, so we need true. to change. The same thing. Yeah, we have to the change. The same thing for a hundred years. Yeah, all right, People born and grow and, and, do, and die and do and enjoy die, a, a, a decent living. They don't have to live in mansion. No, just a decent living, Mary. Mm -hmm. All right. So we thank That's you for so calling. many people have to, they won't pull down the zinc fence, them, right? That's why so many people are in the corner, because I'll, I'll 20 people sleeping in one room, so them going late. Mm. Yeah, we know and that. And the government people, the two parties, none of them no good. All right, Mary. You Thanks. know why I vote yesterday? Yeah. I vote because of PJ Patis and Lambert, bro. <laughs> All, All right. Thank you for me. All right, then. Thanks, Mary. Yes. yes. All right. Blessings, Mary. That's a long-time socialist. <laughs> um... <laughs> The, 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 that point she's raised, and I'm yeah. raising it there. People need their money. Yeah. It's end of month, mm -hmm. and they don't seem to care. None of the, the mm. things. If we know that NCB, BNS, GNN, oh. Oh. you want to get money, you drive up all over the place. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they are now calling us to do this online. Online Put and online. this. Fully online and and only to, to transfer the money. Remember the, the yes, system there. Yeah. Yeah, and so we part. have to think about that in terms of the system because somebody has once said we don't have the infrastructure in terms of internet to handle where they want to go. Right. And so they're pushing it. But as we come to the end of our program, it's nine forty nine and Miss Y Waste is gonna come after to join us. Um she has our program that comes in at ten o'clock. Michael the the elections have gone. Mm. The people have spoken. Well, it's not gone yet. Yeah, it, it, the it dust is, isn't, it, hasn't it, it, settled it, it, yet, you know. Because um, we were looking at it. Um, the popular vote has gone the way of the PMP, and that speaks. That that it sends a message in itself. Um, the councils, 
Uh, and what's the current council? Council seven, seven six, no seven four two tied. Well, uh, it's, I'm asking because uh, JLP Bigwig just WhatsApp me saying it's JLP seven PNP six and two tied. No, that no more than that. More than seven and six are thirteen and two. 15. A 15, that make no sense. So, I don't remember. so it's, it's only 13 we have, you know. Oh, it's 13. Only 13. Kingston and St. Andrews won. KMS, yeah. So it is. it would be 7 4 2 tied. If the 2 tied and the popular vote is with the PMP, then they have the council because the mayor will come from them. All right, but if the two that are currently tied in a recount goes to the PMP, what would it look like? 7 there? 6. Okay, all right. Guys, the declaration is clear. So what somebody said to me, there are 102 um, divisions that are being declared for the PMP, 95 for the JLP, 17, the PM, the JLP is leading in the other um, 13, the PMP is leading in those. If that works, it would be work out to be 115, 112. Okay. 115 for the the PMP. So then you would call it as a close election. It's a close call? election. Yeah. It's a close election. Somebody has right. said that if you were to go general, it would be 32, 31. You would determine which one it is, 32, right. 31. Mm. But it is a new beginning. That's what I'm hearing. A new beginning that says to us as our people, mm. um, we have to hold our people accountable. Mm. And hold our leaders accountable, hold ourselves accountable. And we have to shift our mindset because that's the only way that we will move to become a people. And you did say part of that holding accountable is constantly calling the out issues. wrong when you see right. it. So, mm. so, so having done what has happened, mm. in closing, the Prime Minister, Integrity Commission, returns, to be gazetted, is still there. It's still not done yet? It's still not. It, it hasn't been gazetted as yet. Two, 21, 22. Him submit it, but then don't gazet it. It can't be gazetted because there are problems with it. And and that is something that is not going away. It, can't is go away. it cannot go away. And so <laughs> even yeah. as they've done what they've done in the parliament, new budget and thing. Can me pay your church and allow day for work on this station? And when I look outside, I see a $200 million car. It is not going to go away. It's not going to go away. Percy, where you got that money? Well, I can't Where did it come you from? Have you, are you compromising the station? I got, God causes people to bless me. And them oh, them sorry, man. Right, right, then, 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 that's what it is. Man, people yeah. have blessed me in the past. Oh, I don't do anything and them know. So, then can, so the PM is blessed. It probably, that's what Every it is. day of his life. life is, he's blessed. So if, Except if the match. Not <laughs> had enough. enough. Well, we'll see where that goes. Go Speak to the mayor of Port Antonio. Yeah, the the Matsin, right? the <laughs> as you as you call it, you know. But I we we we, we pay tribute to um, Peter yes. from Morgan Heritage and he send to court condolences to his family. Right. Wow. And then again, Miss Highways comes. We see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember mm. we're praying, and who knows who might drop in tomorrow to come talk to us. Wednesday, Thursday. We mm. give you thanks for allowing us to come into your cars, into yes. your offices, into, into your, your mind, business yes. places, as we seek to transform your mind mm. that indeed you can become oh, the person yes. that has been wired to win in this life. Yes, indeed. Blessings. Yes, indeed. Blessings. No people come to Jamaica, no, no, oh, we live things, say everything nice to we full of vibes and things, eh, eh. Them same one feel it to them heart when them get few of us stand the real thing, yeah. Me day at town one day, a power with a white man will come all the way from Norway. And him turned to me and said, how comes Jamaica full of so much screw face? Same time he lift me head to the sky. And a teardrop fall from me high. Me say, man, you'd come with gold for a drive. Let me show you why me cry. Look on the gully side. Do you see anything to smile about? Look at that hungry child, yeah. Do you see anything to smile about? Look at the school that you them go to get them education. Do you see anything to smile about? Look at the conditions of our police stations. Do you see anything to smile about? No. Same time the brother said. 
How can the nation believe in this way? And the next thing you say, how can the government play so many games? See, I'm tying my heart fall to the ground. Cause there's much more where that comes from. Certain places they are worse than slum. You'd man come and take a look on River Town. Do you see anything to smile about? Look on PM Lang. Yeah. You see anything to smile about? Frank as Mobay and Sufferance Heights in Spain. Do you see anything to smile about? What flats can tie your mud down? They're all the same. Do you see anything to smile about? No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, let me say. No people come to Jamaica and no know how we live things. Say everything nice to we full of vibes and things. Hey, hey. Them see them one feel it to them heart when them get to you overstand the real thing when them look on the gully side. <laughs> them no see nothing they they be smile about when them look on a hungry child. Yeah. Them no see nothing they they be smile about when them look on the schools where the youth them got be get them education. And them not see nothing, they have to smile about When them sight up the condition of the police station Them not see nothing, they have to smile about My story say, my day at town one day I part with a white man, we come all the way from Norway And him turned to me and said How comes Jamaica full of so much screw face See him time me lift me head to the sky And a tear drop fall from me high Me say my youth come with God for a drive Let me show you why me cry Take a look on River Tan Do you see anything to smile about? Look on P.N. Lan yeah. Do you see anything to smile about? Canterbury Monday March been ruined over Spain Do you see anything to smile about? No flick of place They are in a jam down today When nothing not dead to smile about No, no no, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Things just ain't the same, no mama. Sonaton Skyama, Sheldon, Alabama. Do them get caught in the kids and the glamour. Books and the hammers, black clips full of armor. Every day is a drama, gathering by the armor. Protect from everything except for the karma. Man, I try to look to the sky in a mana. Understand the blue who can't wait for tomorrow. Our Rebecca and Barbara, that's the Arabic shoe too. Government can't find a thing for the youths to go. Babati no cute, and you know that's the root. A tree thousand feet apartment, our roof ain't been new. Everyone I ask you, only comfortable too. Honest man, look at work, send him youth them to school. But in the place where you school, if you follow the rules, what the alternative do you think somebody I got choose? Because I got a million for your house so up as Good old days. What it used to be Farming used to power communities A degree used to mean opportunity Only thing man I read now a eulogy Mineral parlor Say business is booming School them get empty So prison is looming Molly consuming Dolly them grooming Where do you run to? Like Leela in blooming But we only survive And we get put up a fight to live and me set things up to buy money to make and investments to set but even that under threat financial sector a threat i mean what's that about me see i won't make a sound can't believe 
the people are wacky deep in my account. Do for money I spend, European a trend, real estate recommend, man I feel re-up again. Because I don't see me and be a house up a stone, On your dial. Keep listening. No! My water gone again! Yo, Dave, where did you get your water tank from? Multi plastic tanks a lot? Oh, yeah! I heard they're selling cutting edge water tanks. Let me find my way to 37 South Road or call them at 876 968 